This is the Power of Teen America podcast, and today we've got a fun conversation with the legendary Ellis McLean. He's won the Open World Championships twice, but more than his accolades on the platform, he's one of the most uplifting ambassadors for the sport of powerlifting. Ellis always has the most fun, and we had a blast just hanging out and chopping it up on this one. But before we start, don't forget that Bench Worlds is happening now through the rest of this week, and after that, we've got the grand finale of our national championships with the Sub Junior, Junior Masters, and Equip National starting on June 2nd. A week after that, it's the biggest Open World Championships in history starting June 11th in Malta. They'll all be streamed live, and we'll post the links on our Instagram story at powerlifting underscore america so make sure you're following us there thank you to sbd and elenco for the continued partnership with powerlifting america if you're looking to compete in drug test of powerlifting whether you're just starting out or you want to compete with the best in the world make sure you go to powerlifting-america.com and become a member now let's get to this fun conversation with the legendary ellis mclean all right what's up i got the two-time open world champion ellis mclean how's it going man man it's going it is going it's going good like i said I'm, I, you're never going to catch me complaining unless it's yeah. for practice yeah i'm good yeah, life is good, huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. I see we got a little one running around in the background. Yeah, Jackson. She's running back there. Say, hey, Jackson. Say hi. Hey. Nice. <laughs> special guest. Special guest. Yeah, she'll be popping in and out of here. The very special. All right. Well, so um, first thing I want to do is, you know, kind of catch up on some current <laughs> events, stuff, things have been happening in powerlifting, get your take on it. Absolutely. Um, first, first one, of course, everyone's talking about Sheffield. How did you watch it? And um, what do you think of the performances? I watched it. Um, I watched it a little bit. Uh, pretty sure I was training in between. I mean, I um, no, my my two. Well, I got a lot of favorite lift with fan, but like two of my favorites, obviously, uh, watching lift uh, are, are Amanda Lawrence and uh, Jonathan Keiko. Those are my, that's my guy. Yeah. Um, so I had to, you know, you know, I had to. And of course, Mikey, I'm I'm a liar if I don't say my Mikey's dude. Yeah. So like, you know, my my I had to come watch, you know, watch my people. So like in between sets and stuff, you know, I was able to kind of watch a little bit. Um, I try to make sure that I watched Amanda every every time she took an attempt. Like I just again, and I mean, no knock to people's performances, bro. But I can I can honestly tell you, dude, Amanda, Amanda blacked out. And it's just yeah. so weird because like people aren't talking about it. It's my, uh, and again, I'm I'm a huge Amanda fan. Yeah, me I just feel too. like you know, Amanda blacked out. I mean, she had one off. of the greatest performances. Male, female doesn't matter. Pretty sure she ended up with the highest dots of that meet. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, man, like she's not getting that love. Like, like I thought she was gonna get. Like, the man is different, man. Gosh, she's so different. Such a sweet person. You know what I mean? And it's not necessarily an Amanda plug. I just, you know, I just, I don't get it. I mean, and, and again, maybe, you know, maybe I'm missing something, you know, maybe I'm just not paying attention up because I'm not going to lie, dude. I'm not, you know, I, I, I don't really, I don't really like, you know, dip super heavy into powerlifting, you know, like you uh -huh. know, a lot of you know, other dope life stuff, you know, going on. Yeah. Um, but the one thing that I, I, I have, or slash have not noticed is Amanda getting that shine. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. Jesus went in. He definitely went in. Yeah. Um, you know, but Amanda super went in. Yeah. Amanda went in. So, and I'm like, I just don't, I don't, that part, you know, that part I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, people had some great performances and don't get me wrong, dude. Like it's the, the format, it's kind of wonky, but you know, it, it, it's cool. I put it this way. I feel like the Sheffield is cool. If you have a if you have a, a weight class that statistically is not let me see is is as strong as maybe others you know what mm -hmm. I mean so you're gonna get some people like you know that that blow past the world records you know but then you'll get you know <laughs> you get some like Amanda that literally she is her competition she yeah. is her own competition yeah. and you know you're having to blow past yourself every single time that's nuts and over she's she's reset her world records over and over and over and over and yeah. over which is awesome yeah. um. But to reset your world record, to have the highest dots, yeah, it's still not people. crack. Yeah, like didn't she have the highest, the uh, highest, uh, the heaviest female deadlift of all time? Yeah, right? heaviest female deadlift. She broke the squat world record twice. Yep. Broke the twice. deadlift world record. Broke the deadlift world record twice. Yeah, she put up a five ninety five dots, which Jesus did five ninety two, and then the, and then the yeah. next the next close after that was five eighty. Yeah. So like, like they they were they both were you know yeah they, they both were astronomical. Amanda went dummy. And Amanda didn't even win. I'm like, what? Didn't even make the podium. I mean, didn't even like, I mean, yeah. Like she was, I mean, it, it, and, uh, and we got to talk about Monika, same thing. Yeah. Like Monika, Monika went dummy too. And I'm like, bro, how are, oh no, 
But again, yeah. someone, you know, someone out there is going to watch this. They're going to listen to it and they'll have the stats better than I do. They'll understand it a lot better than I do. But I mean, I'm like, like, what does it take to get the kind of love that I feel like that she deserves? I yeah. mean, she's a great ambassador for the sport for sure, but she just doesn't get that. You know, she gets love, but bro, like, yeah, to do that. And <laughs> I just, I don't know. And Bonica that, too, talking Bonica, about victim, yeah. victim, victim of your own success. Own talent. Like, like, I mean, she's what, been breaking like, her own she's been break, like, like, I can't imagine, you know, especially with those two women, I can't imagine being that good, stand at the top of your game, being being the top of your game, the the top of your 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 you know respected weight class, and beating yourself over and over and over and over and over. Like, and I honestly, I, you're a victim of your own talent. You know what I mean? Because people yep. are like, oh, here we go, but Nick's gonna win again. Oh, yeah. here we go, man is gonna win again. Like, not realizing what they're doing is rare, dude. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, I can I can you know, you think I'm lying? Let's take it back. Let's take it back three four years ago. Yeah. I think about four years ago yeah. when all we knew was Ray Williams winning everything. Mm-hmm. All we knew was, oh, sh- Ray's going to win. Ray's going to win. Ray's going to win. He's going to win. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And then that time that Ray didn't win, you're like, oh, well, Ray will be back. And it's not like we're still waiting for Ray to come back, but everyone's still feeling like, oh, well, you know, well, Ray, Ray's going to come back and spot another, you know, 1100, another, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's not easy. That, the, yeah. I mean, it's not even about the comeback. It's just, to have a, a consistent streak of greatness year after year after year after year after year yeah. after year after year after year. Yeah. With Ray, we got year after year after year after year after year, and then it stopped for a second. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, mean, yeah. and I feel like he, you know, he's gonna get his come back. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna get his kids come up. It's, oh, yeah. It takes time. He's but, prepping right now for NAPF. Yeah. So when we talk about what again, we're gonna take it to Benika. If we can talk about what Benika's done year after year after year after year after year. <laughs> year after year after year after year after year year. like i don't 11 times you know what i mean like who does that yeah who does that and you know what i mean it's just like you know and how do you do that and then not be the biggest star in the sport come on man you know what i mean talk a little louder how yeah Yeah, like how how are you not how you not having at least three four hundred k yeah how you not have every sponsor this side of the mississippi yeah, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean. Like, <laughs> you know, and again, it's no knock. I mean, some people can get to the bag, and if you get to the bag, bless yeah. you. Yeah. But at some point, you got a person who hasn't won anything that's got every sponsor under the roof, mm-hmm. and you got somebody Benika. Yeah, baby, I know, huh? Yeah, you have somebody Benika who has done everything. Yeah, she has won everything. This, this woman has won everything. Mm-hmm. She's won everything that your favorite lifter hasn't even seen. And <laughs> exactly. you know what I'm saying? And, and you're like, all right, well, why, you know, I, that part I, I I still don't get. And Amanda, Amanda's well on her way to being, you know, on that level. Yeah, yeah. Just for sure. consistently eating, 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 and just bodying people, you know? And, you know, you get to the Sheffield and it's like, all right, you're so talented. You have to body yourself in order to get to the bag <laughs> by, 5%, right. by yeah, 5% by 5% that's insane that's tough like, yeah you know what i mean yeah. so while it's 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 a it's a cool format you know it's it's a hard format cuz like man it's yeah. just you can be at the top of your game and beat yourself by 0.0005% and you're going to you're going to take an L <laughs> you, you you might take an L so yeah. i don't know i just you know like i said everyone everyone went in you know i mean i you know i was super hyped seeing Gavin do his thing. I was yeah. super hyped seeing, obviously, you know, when Jonathan does his thing, it's just, you know, for me, it's like, that's the, that's the little homie, man. So watch him do his thing. Yeah, you know, watch Delaney, Delaney do his little dance and shouts like, okay, Delaney. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if Delaney ain't dancing a soft shoe, I don't, I don't want to watch. You know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. you know, like, I'm like, if Delaney don't pop lock, I'm turning this shit off. Like, I got to see, you know what I mean? Like, I, I want to see my people do their thing. I mean, obviously, Taylor's going to do his thing. Taylor's yeah. another one. You're so used to seeing Taylor take take dubs. Like, all right, yeah. what's next? So. He, he said something recently, too. Like, I'm sick of people thinking this stuff's easy. You know? Dog, it's not easy. Yeah. To yeah. win, bro, if people understand to win one, to win one is a blessing. To win two is, that's lightning striking 
you know, 20 times in the same spot to win anything more than that mm-hmm. is it's absolute insanity. Like people don't understand how hard it is. Like it's one thing to be at the top of a game, to be at the top of your game, but to be at the top of the game of the world, that's completely different. Like, um, and you know what, bro? I, I can honestly tell you, Paul, like man to man, I don't know that I want people to to really realize how hard it is. Yeah. You know I mean? wouldn't, you wouldn't try to do it, right? Nah, bro, like how much it, work it people, took. Man, it takes work. It takes commitment. It obviously, it takes sacrifice. Like, you know, like people always say, but it's true. It takes all that. And here's the thing. It takes talent, dude. Mm. Like, it yep. takes some talent. Like, you can't just... There's a lot of strong people out there, man. But, I mean, mm-hmm. there's not a lot of strong people that can, that can 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 hone that strength, hone in that technique, and do it every single time when it counts. Bro, if you can't do it when it, ta- when it counts, man, like, you're just strong for no reason. Ah, that's a lie. You're not strong for no reason. Yeah. But you're not strong at the appropriate time. Feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you just... So these, I mean, and I feel like for me, that's, you know, again, I, I mean, I guess it's going to throw back to, you know, to Bonica again, like how talented are you to be able to do that over and over and over and over and over and over. And here's the thing that, you know, that me and the homies talked about a few times. When you're so good, it looks like you're, you're not competing against anyone. Well, you know how, like, you know how stupid that is. Yeah. Like, when you're making other grown women, other grown men look like, man, he ain't even competing against anybody. Yeah. Uh, he's one because he's not, he don't, he ain't going against anybody. Again, no, you're dog. a victim of your own success. People yeah, are discounting it's your just, wins. You're that much better than everybody. Yeah. But I will say this, man, you know, to, you know, leaning back on some of that stuff, like, it adds to a person's lore, legend, if you will, mm-hmm. if, if we, the outside looking in, if we're able to brag on you. Yeah. If we're able to see that and we're able to brag on you, it's different. You know what I'm saying? When when mm-hmm. when lifters brag on themselves, I feel like it takes away from, you know, it takes away from what they've done. And I mean, this is day and age of of, of self-promotion. Yeah, right? you have to. You yeah. know, what I mean, if you're gonna get anything, you, you almost have to self-promote. But I mean, I feel like some of these cats, they don't have to say a word. You know, I was I was laughed because. Taylor, Taylor start popping. I'm like, come on, bro. You don't got to say a word. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But then it's Taylor. So you're like, ah, man, this is Taylor doing Taylor. You mean like Taylor get on his McGregor sometimes like, all right, dude, hey, <laughs> talk your talk, my guy. Yeah. But at the same time, I can He's say that I can say that Taylor doesn't have to say a word and his, his body work speaks for itself. Mm-hmm. You know, Bonica, you know, Bonica's, uh, she's, she's really good. She never really talks about herself that much. No. You know what I'm saying? No, um, never. But her body work speaks for herself. I would like for her to talk about herself more because I feel like that might be the only way she gets the love that you know that, that she deserves. Yeah. Um, same thing, Amanda. Amanda, you will never catch Amanda talking oh, no. about herself, and 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 you know it's just you know she's been it, she's been pretty quiet on social yeah. media too, like for even really like the last year and a half, two yeah, years. Yeah, she's been like, in the lab. But here's the not, thing, like, yeah. but when she comes out, every time she comes out, does she not put out the most beautiful product you've ever seen? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you pay attention, like the Amanda we saw two, three years ago, it's different from the Amanda we see now. Her technique's getting a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's, you know, she's just, you know, she's moving different, you know, but as as she's moving different, she's just, there's this degree of separation that Amanda's putting between herself and the competition. That's crazy. And there's a few that are, you know, there's a few that get close here and there, but then when you look, I mean, the queen's still the queen. Um, It's just hard to do this, you know, kind of throwing back to what you said, it's hard to do this and stay healthy oh yeah it's hard to stay healthy throughout their whole journey um and and really come out on the other side like unscathed come out on the other side like all right i got a nick and a bruise here like there's nobody that does this at, at the highest level that hasn't gotten hurt that hasn't mm-hmm. had to rehab a little bit that hasn't had to like recheck the technique figure out like hey what's working what's not working to get, get back with their coach maybe find a new coach you know what have you to to mm-hmm. figure out what it is you know, you know, some people want to be at the top, you know, and, and some people want to make it to the top and then some people want to stay at the top. That's three different ways of thinking, man. That's three th- different ways of approaching it. So, you know, it's it's been cool watching how, obviously how the sports evolved, but really watching how like you get all of these different, you know, different walks of life, these different forms of training, these, these different people from all these different, you know, different countries coming to the shell field and going in you know, and then, you know, figuring out who's really going to be the best, the best, 
Mm-hmm. You have your you you have your 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 thoughts like I I think you know in my head I'm like oh man is about to do these girls for sure for sure absolutely and, yeah you know what I mean like oh Jess Jess is gonna get hers you know what I mean like you know you know those there's Rhea. gonna be some people you know yeah. say, she's gonna get hers you know and to see you know um to see like some of you know I honestly I mean you know she didn't have the greatest meat but watching Chandler do her thing yeah yeah you know what I mean like. Watching her battle and battle and battle and battle. Most people would have folded. She you know, you know what I mean? Stage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know she I mean? battled hard. So it's one thing to go against people in your weight class and be like, all right, you know, I'm going to dominate these men slash women. I'm going to dominate these fools. Mm-hmm. But it's one. It's another thing to get out there like, all right, these are the best of the best. All right. Like, so we all had the same thing on. We all had the same kits on. Yeah. No one's got an unfair advantage. So, all right. Let's get it cracking. Yeah. Like, let's really see, you know what I mean? Like, hey, Eddie's moving cool. up. Eddie's moving up. Let's see what Eddie does against Taylor. Yeah. Eddie got a few more pounds on him. Let's see what Eddie does. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. again, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I watched a little bit of the Sheffield. But I mean, yeah. I was, I ran it, I ran it enough, like, in between yeah. sets. Like, the, like, it was one of those things. I'm like, all right, this is, I feel like everything, when, when it's the first, regardless of if it had, you know, the, it should, you know, was supposed to happen a, a few years back. Whenever it's a first, you were able to, you know, make some notes and figure out, all right, what works and what doesn't work. Yeah. I think yeah. we saw kind of what a lot of things that worked. There's a lot of things that really worked, worked very, very well. Mm-hmm. There were some things like, like, obviously, that, you know, the formula, maybe tweaking that formula a little bit, because honestly, there's no way that you should be able to black out like Amanda did and not podium. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. no way you should have the highest dots of anybody breathing in that room and not make podium. Yeah. I mean, and, you know, some some people got, I mean, people got to the bag here and there. You know what I mean? But, like, a man should have been walking out with the bag and the crown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. I think, I think like, for people with trained eyes like us, um, we, who's, who've been around the sport and watched it. Right. I mean, we we did, I did walk away thinking, like, that was one of the greatest performances I've ever seen in my life by a man. Big facts. Big facts. And, yeah. and I mean, uh, you know, the... The rules are what the, they were and Evie and their team, you know, cutting her down to 52 mm-hmm. and, and implementing a strategy and then coming fa- out hey, listen. Exe- executing, you know, spot. Hey, like, listen, Evie, no, and yeah, again, hats, I off, mean, hats off to her. Hats you know? off Evie, because they came in with a plan. And there's one, listen, there's yeah. one thing to have a plan. It's another thing to have a plan, you know, stick to the plan, execute it at the highest level and walk out, like walk out on scale. Like she did her thing. Yeah. Like she really, really did her thing. And again, kind of going back to what I said about Amanda, why are we not talking about her? You know, why are we not talking about Evie as much? You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I mean, go front. Hey, Seuss went bananas. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, yeah. it, it, it doesn't matter. You don't got to like the dude. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you know, you don't even necessarily have to like powerlifting. Yeah. But it's something about a big ass dude putting on a lot of weight, moving a lot of weight. And like the squad was like, all right, well, you know, because you already know how people are. I mean, he squatted, but, you know, Ray, Ray squatted more than that. Yeah, he put yeah. the bench up like, hey, that bench was kind of nice. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've seen yeah. people bench more. My my guy went to that deadlift, made that thing look like an RPE 8. Yeah, no shit. That was amazing. And then the Bro, total. I'm not even gonna, I ain't even going to front. I looked, I'm like, Okay. All right, and man. that total, man, that total, that total was, was man, insanity. come on, bonkers. So, I mean, you're gonna get that love. I mean, because you put yeah. up just a, a, a stupid total. Yeah. Um, golly, you know, and so I'm thinking, you know what, man, it's gonna be another one. Is, hey, hey, Jesus gets that love. Amanda's get that love. And I'm like, wait, Amanda's what? Mm-hmm. Oh, hold on. So, you know, Evie. Yeah. I can't, I'm, you're never going to hear me. I can't talk down on what she did at all because she went in there and like. <laughs> it's hard to cut down a weight class and go cut, nine for nine. Cut down a weight class, went nine for nine, played the numbers perfect. And then just like, I'm take that record. I'm throw it away. I'm take that record. I'm throw it away. I'm take that record. Mm-hmm. Throw it away. She did her thing. She did it so smart, you know, and, and honestly, if you look at her, she, it wasn't like she didn't look emaciated. She didn't look unhealthy. You know what I mean? She didn't look like she like needed a sandwich. Like she was, she looked great. You know what I'm saying? She looked yeah. great. She executed she at jacked. the highest level. Like look like, hey, you know, after I'm done with this, I'm probably gonna step on stage real quick. You yeah. know what I mean? Like she was just, she was ready to go. 
mm-hmm. and showed everyone she was ready to rock. And she walked out. She walked out queen of the ring. So, and, you know, and I've heard a lot of good things. Like she, she does a lot for the sport in New Zealand. Like she runs, facts. she she runs meets. Like I think big I, facts. I, uh, she was like the, she's now the president of the Auckland powerlifting federation yeah. and stuff. Like she, she's a good, she's good a person. great ambassador couldn't for the sport. Couldn't, couldn't have happened to a better person. No, though. you know what I mean? And that's the thing. Like, and I, I feel like that, you know, that needs to be applauded. That needs to be talked about. You know what I mean? And yeah. we don't, you know, and I, I don't know if it's just as a, as a whole, you know, we just, we, we, we don't talk about, you know, female powerlifting as much, you know, as we should, they don't get the shine that they should, but man, I'm telling you, dude, you know, the guys, they did, they, they did their thing, man. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. man, when the females came out, it was like, Ooh, listen, if you're not going nine for nine, you don't have a shot here. I think one through eight broke the total world record on the women's Talk side. about it. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like if you, you had to be, listen, man, those females, that female side, they were sharks. Yeah. Like, and then you could not, if you messed up one time, it was like, Hey, you probably don't have a shot here. It's I, almost like the, just being there is like being on the podium. Obviously these are people that are all, you know, winners from worlds and stuff. They, yeah. And they're, I mean, yeah, they've all they're, been on the top of the podium. Yeah. The they're the top of the, that's the thing. That's they're the top of their game, you know, wherever they're from, they're the top of their game, you know, and you know, they're the top of the game when you think about it, because only the best, the best gets them, you know, get that invite, you yeah, know, even yeah. the wild cards. I'm like, bro, when I, when Mikey got that invite, boy, like, listen, we were, <laughs> that's awesome. I'm like, huh? Hey, let's get, yeah, man. Like, you know, and I, I feel like that's one of those things where, you know, man, there's a lot of these dudes. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I've been in the game long enough. But like everyone's younger than me now. It feels like yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of these young dudes, man, that are just, you know, it's crazy because a lot of these guys have been lifting longer than I have. They've been beating longer than I have. Mikey's been yeah, beating longer than I have, but I still, you know, I still see Mikey as this, like this young cat, you know, that just his dude, his, his, his upside is through the roof, you know? Yeah. Um, and when he got the invite, bro, I was like, you know, I was just, and you get hot, you hype for people. You, just, mm-hmm. you know, you want to see, you know, he's a Texas boy. So I always want my people to win. You know what I mean? I always want, I always want my people to eat, you know what I mean? And I just, I mean, there's a lot of lifters, man, that, you know, that, that I respect, you know, that I think do super, super well, that they're a credit to the sport. Mikey obviously is one of those. Um, I just, I think the world of that kid, man, I really oh, do. Yeah. I think he's just an awesome, awesome dude. Um, he gives back to coaches, yeah, man. does stuff. Yeah. But yeah, dude. And, and I think a lot of it is just, you know, you can judge a lifter, at least for me, I judge a lifter off of the love that they show other people. Mm-hmm. And you're hardly ever, you're never going to hear anybody say anything bad about Mikey Davis. Yep. you yep. never hear. If somebody says something bad about my Mikey Davis, there's a hater straight up. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'm going to be 100 with you. Like you, there's nothing bad you can say about Mikey. He, Davis. he was so sweet on here. He was even talking about his competition, super nice and how he's like learning words in Swedish. So he could say hello, you know, yeah. and like that to a mill and stuff. And oh. yeah, man, it's, it's he's, awesome. He's a good dude, man. So I'm like, yeah. you want to see dudes like that, get a shot at it. To get mm-hmm. a, you know what I mean? Because I always feel like, you know, Mikey, by Mikey, literally, Mikey, Mikey's almost got the sauce. He's almost got the, the secret sauce together already. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? I think he's missed like two ingredients. And once he figures out, you know what I mean? It, when he when he gets it all together, he comes in fully healthy, ready to rock. Bro, ain't nobody stopping him. Straight yeah. up. I can tell you that to your face. Nobody's Just stopping looking him. at him, you're like, how is this guy not win the gold medal every time? Yeah, you know I mean, you know, I mean, and it's dope because. I mean, that one, man, I want a five. Is, ooh, I want a five. Oh, yeah. is so nasty, bro. God, that's so nasty. You know that's what I mean? That's your weight and, class, huh? For, oh, man, I got to go back down, man. Daddy can't be fat no more. I got to get back down. I got I got a child, man. I'm a <laughs> middle-aged black man. I can't be carrying this weight like this. I got to wow. go down for health. I Are you really? Go. I have you gonna to. Do, you going to do the Bryce Lewis and uh, cut all the way down to 90 or no? Just I'm going to do the Ellis McClain and cut down to a healthy weight is what I'm going to do. Gotcha. Um, I got to. It's cool, like, again, it kind of going back. I mean, after you win everything, like, what else is there to do? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, be healthy, longevity. Be healthy, longevity, have a, you know, have a good time, laugh. Um, yeah. Try to get back to the sport as much as you can. Um, can I still bang with these? Can I still bang with these boys? Absolutely. Um, yeah. <laughs> is it like, is that priority one? Nah, man. Priority one is this, having a good life. You know what I mean? Being yeah. a good dad, 
um, you know, trying to really trying to grow this pilot from America thing is 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 big and as bright, you know, as we can, you know, um, being a good ambassador for the sport, kind of how we talk off like off uh, off air. You know what yeah. I mean? Allowing this to stay a part of my life and not my life. Um, mm-hmm. Just keeping like just keeping the love for it. Um, yeah, there's yeah. only so many meets. There's only so many dubs you can get before like, all right, what's next? You know what I mean? And I mean, I haven't hit that ne- what, that what's next point, but man, dude, I mean, you know, you win an open, you know, a few times. That's dope. Mm-hmm. You know, can you can you continue as a masters? Because my thing is like, all right, David Ricks has done some stupid awesome. stuff as a masters. Yeah. All right, can I be better than David Ricks? You know what uh-huh. I mean? Like, uh-huh. you know, like let me let's see. Can I be Superman. can I be on that level with an Anthony Harris? Like, hey, I can be an older cat, but I'm still moving open numbers. All right, yeah, that's still doing that. We're on that. But yeah. you know, can I be that master's cat? Like, hey, this dude is gonna be this cat's dad. He's he's not comp- here's the thing. I don't want to just <laughs> compete with people. You feel yeah. I don't want to compete with anybody. I'm trying to listen, I'm trying to hurt somebody's son's feelings. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a I mean, I'm gonna be the older guy, that's fine. You know what I mean? But I don't want to go to a meet like, hey. Good job, brother. I don't want to get that participation clap. Yeah, yeah. It's because I'm there. You know what I mean? I want to be like, man, bro, LS is, is with them boys still. Yeah. He's still up there. You know you what I mean? better be on your game 100% or he's going to take I'm telling you, he don't miss. Money. That's one thing I, one thing I'll say, man, is, is you spoke on Bryce Lewis. Yeah. That's one thing I, I, I will always say with Bryce. If you put it in his hands, Bryce don't miss. Mm-hmm. Rice mm-hmm. doesn't miss and if he does miss it's so rare you know what I mean like I'm if Bryce misses I'm more surprised than he is I'm like Mm-mm, that's not the Bryce you know what I'm saying like yeah yeah that's why I mean even now like you know I mean even when he, he's you know he's taking his, his his break from lifting yeah um Bryce was like all right I'm gonna you know what I took my break I'll be back in a I'll be back in a couple of weeks and I'm like oh she probably gonna win <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Bryce I mean, doesn't dude, miss. He, he's he. I mean, if you're looking at him as a 93, especially, I mean, where that total is, and considering he's been well into the 900s before, he's, he's, um, and and I mean, he looked at nationals like he was pacing for something kind of crazy. At I 93. thought he was about to do something ridiculous. Yeah, and you if know, it wasn't like, for some bad cramp, yeah, water cramp, loading yeah. or whatever, yeah, cramping, man, and it's hard. Yeah, people. It's just hard, man. Like th- to to be at the top of this game is hard, and consistently come back. You know what I mean? Because here's the thing. Yeah, you know, I mean, and anybody that's listening, that you know how it is. If you're listening and you're, you don't even have to be like, you know, world class competitor, however they classify us. Mm-hmm. If you're if you're if you're lifting, and you're training to win, because I mean, some people train for fun, you know, and they just want to go have a good time. That's awesome. But yeah. if you're at that point where you're training to win, and you're going into these meets wanting to win, it doesn't matter if it's local, regional, state. I don't care. If you're training to win and you go to a meet and you don't win for whatever reason, you're heartbroken. Yep. It just is what it is. And if you're not, then God, you know, God bless you. But yeah. I go to these meets to compete. And if I don't win, I'm heartbroken. I don't care if it's like, hey, you know what, LS? I know that you're a light 93. I know that you're... <laughs> Yeah. I know that you entered the, you know, the 120 plus category. There's no statistical way that you're going to win in any form or fashion. But for some reason, you think that you can hang with these boys. Knowing, knowing damn well that I'm not going to be anywhere close to these dudes. Okay, cool. But I'm still heartbroken when I lose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when we would do the Arnold back in the day, like, you know what I mean? in the, We were going off with Wilkes. I knew I was going to lose. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody touching Ray. I knew I was going to lose. I was heartbroken, man. And I would, you know, put my smile on, you know, every show everybody congratulations and all that good stuff. I go to that bathroom stall, sit in that bad boy, put yeah. my feet up to my chest and cry for a little bit because I hated losing. And you know, going in like, bro, I'm going to have to spot like 900 pounds to give it old boy. I, I, I'm going to have to do this, that, and this. I know that's not going to happen. And to walk into a meet knowing that, you know, the best you can do based off of what you're, you've done is maybe get second. You know what I mean? Because like, oh, I got to go against Taylor and Ray. Mm-hmm. So Taylor's got the light stone up. Ray's got the heavy stone up. So that looks is pretty much a wrap. I might be able, if, if Taylor decides to trip, fall, and just not come back out after bench, I might have a chance. Yeah. 
dude, I, I, I would be so mad and so angry, you know, going into these meets and all like, man, the most I'm going to be able to get maybe is third, second, if somebody, you know, you know, eats a, a bad tuna sandwich, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I would go into that stall, pull my, like, like I was in some high school movie, pull my knees up to my chest, cry yep. for about 10 minutes. Yeah. Get it all out of me, walk back out, wipe my tears. Good job, baby boy. Good job. I mean, because you yeah. know, what I mean, like who am I to like to rain on your parade? Like you did your yeah. thing, you did what you were supposed to do. Um, You're a good sport like that. I mean, this is a good, this is a great topic, actually. I want to let's let's talk about this a little bit more because okay. powerlifting is a little bit different than other sports. Like you, you, me, we both, you know, come from different kind of sports backgrounds and stuff, right. followed a lot of other sports. Absolutely. And then, a lot of other sports, you know, you take that L and then you got another game next week and Big you facts. can go out there and get that taste out of your mouth, but it's a lot different in powerlifting. So how do you deal with this stuff mentally? Like you, and you think it's different than other sports? Cause I think any sport you think you're going to win, you're going to be heartbroken when, when you lose. That's mm -hmm. just, that's the nature of sports. There's always a winner and always a loser, you know, and it's always the, the loser's heartbroken, but it seems a little different in powerlifting because we put so much stress on those nine attempts like mm -hmm. once every six months or every you know yeah maybe once or couple, twice a couple, year. couple two or three times a year maybe yeah um i don't even know i can i can tell you like it's for me personally i know that you know when i go into a meet i know that there's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser yeah what can i do what can i control to keep myself from being that loser i don't want to be the latter mm -hmm. um so you try to control as many of those elements as you can, you know what I mean? Like you can only control what you can control, right? Um, if my best me shows up, based off the past, if my best me shows up, nine times out of 10, I'm going to win that thing straight up. <laughs> yeah. um, there's been, you know, there's been a few times where the best me hasn't shown up and I've won. Mm -hmm. um, but I do know this, if the worst version of me shows up, I have no chance of winning straight up. So, yeah. and that's happened. I've, I've had a very, 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 very bad version of myself show up. And, and I, I got what I deserve. You know what I mean? It's those meets that the best you shows up and you still take that L. Those are the ones that hurt. They hurt the worst, but those are the ones you can live with. Cause you know, like, you know what? I just got beat because I wasn't the strongest. It just is what it is. Yeah. Um, with, you know, with, with powerlifting, it's one of those things where you already know if I move more weight than you do three times, my total is bigger than yours, I win. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can say about it. So it's easier to accept a person winning because you know what? They had their best day and you didn't, fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. So I think it's a lot easier in powerlifting to accept an, an L and be able to congratulate you know, your, you know, your, your, you know, the victor, I should say, yeah. because at some point you, you know, and at least for that, that fight, you and 14 other people went mano y mano and you no, know, the bad, the, the big dog won. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you, you know, you, you're a hater if you don't show them love straight up, you know what I mean? Like, of course, that's being a good sport. Yeah. Right? There's no, there's no, there should be no ill will. There should, there should be no hate. There should be no, like, oh, well, if I would have, well, if you would have, you would have won, but you didn't. So yeah. shut up, walk up, shake that man or that woman's hand, tell him great job and walk out. Um, dog, it's just, lab. yeah, man, you got to go back to the lab. And empowerment is one of those things where, you know what? I probably, I could have done this better, this better, and this better. I have to be more consistent. I have to control my elements a lot better so that I, when I do have an opportunity to come back, if I have an opportunity to get back to this stage, I'll be ready. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that's, you know, it's not easy to be the way. And then, of course, when you're in the heat of battle, I think at least, I don't really know. I mean, I've seen a few females do, but I've seen it more on the, on, obviously, on the, man, the male side. Everyone, when that testosterone's rolling in the back, dog, and everyone's just kind of in their zone, the music's pumping. It's just the the atmosphere is just you know electric. Coaches are going stupid. They're sweating. Chalk is all in the air. You know yeah. what I mean? There's a slight hint of ammonia that no one's supposed to be actually using, but they're using. Like all this <laughs> stuff is going. <laughs> all this stuff is popping off in that back, and it's weird. You see something start happening with at least with the men. Like you start seeing that it's like almost like this unspoken bond being formed between all the guys. Cause 
at the end of the day, it's like we're all kind of in the gym just trying to get it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, all right, I did my best. Me, your turn. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And you know, and you don't. It, uh, you don't have to speak the same language. You know what I mean? Because everyone speaks iron. Everyone lifts it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, pat him on his butt, hit him on his back, give him a fist bump, whatever it is. All right, your turn. I did mine. Let's see what you got. Yeah, yeah. And they're going to do their thing and they'll come back like, what? You're like, yeah, you did it. All right. And then you just, and it just starts building and building and building and building and building. So by the time you get to deadlifts and, you know, people, you know, the, the chess is being played and all that stuff, either you bonded with these people because you, you've been battling with them. And yeah. usually it's going to be the same few people year after year after year, you know what I mean? And you, you have these unspoken friendships that, that, that you end up, you know, making with these guys and, your only goal at, at some point is to get back to beat those dudes. Yeah. And you want them to be able to get back so you can beat them. And you start yeah. making these friends with these guys. And the next thing you know, like, you know, you, you got friends, you know, honestly, to this day, we don't know each other's language to save our lives. But I mean, me and Christoph, yeah. Right now, I've walked this like, hey, what's up, man? Like, you know, yeah. me and uh Steven Screamer Manuel from uh from the from UK, same stuff. Um mm -hmm. Professor David from Brazil, like he was my first IPF friend that I ever made. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He tried to teach me how to do. I was in Russia, my first worlds I ever went to. I was in Russia. He tried to teach me how to hook grip, like nice. because like my grip was slipping. And he's like, you know, we, you can make your grip better. He like try to show me how to hook grip and all this stuff, like in the back, like. That's awesome. These, this is the bonds these, we got. Yeah, man. Like, there's some, you know, there's something about this sport where you can you can help somebody figure out their sauce and it not take away from you as a competitor. Cause here's yeah. the thing. We all got to lift the same weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all have to do the same thing. We all have to yeah. train our butts off. We all are trying to get to the mountaintop. I mean, and people forget that, you know what? There's, <laughs> there's, I mean, there's enough food for everyone to eat at the top. There really, yeah. really is at that particular point in time, there might be only one fork. That's the winner. You know what I mean? But that's fine because, I mean, sometimes that winter, like, you know, you know what I did to get ready for this? I did this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. Oh, word, that's what you did? I'm going to work on it. Yeah, man, work on that because, you know, you're, you know, you may want to work on turning your toes out a little bit because, you know, like, your feet a little bit forward, man, it's kind of, you know, restricting your depth. You want to look at doing that and maybe work on your ankle mobility. I mean, do we, you know, you get to know yeah. these guys, get to check, you know, and so I feel like powerlifting is one of those things where, or one of those sports where, you know, you don't have to take away from your opponent, you know, for you and for them to get better. Because you want that best version to come out. Um, that's that's a really good point, and, and that's unique because, yeah, you know, like you said, you, if if someone else gets better, it doesn't take anything away from you. But now, if you nope. think about it, like in the context of like football or something, if Patrick Mahomes teaches a defensive end how to get past the O line better, yeah, yeah that's gonna can't. take away from no. his game, right? Like, so it's yeah. different when you're in a sport like absolutely. that. Absolutely, when you're in a team sport, yeah, you know, when you're in a team sport, there's so many other moving pieces and parts um you're part of a unit um when you're in powerlifting i mean even with track and field a little bit you are the unit yeah yeah um but even then you know you 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 just have to be aware of what you're doing how you're doing it and making sure that you rinse and repeat if it's working but you start to make adjustments to stay on top of the game um yeah. but it doesn't what you do doesn't necessarily take away from what your opponent's doing like it's just and i, I feel like you're starting to see a little bit of that in powerlifting now where people are just starting to be, be up straight haters, man. Yeah. Like, which makes no sense. I think it comes with a, the sport just growing too. Yeah. I mean, the sport. sport's growing and you get a lot of these people that come in that, you know, that may not have played a team sport. Yeah. That may not have, you know, done anything aside from just lifting or done some individual stuff. And I realized like, Hey man, I promise you, you're not even that good to be hating on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> straight up there's yeah. a lot of dude there's a lot of these dudes i mean it yeah. is what it is you can at me yeah. if you want to there's a I'm, lot of these dudes that are trash absolute dumpster <laughs> fire absolute garbage juice that are popping off the mouth just popping off the mouth talking all this trash acting like they're god's gift to a barbell that have done nothing yeah they've done nothing that part i don't get you know the fact, <laughs> the fact that you have nothing behind your name, you have no history, 
but you want to come off just just popping off the mouth makes no sense to me but you want to pop off on like you know on, on somebody that's winning somebody somebody that's 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 been putting in the work somebody that's been on podiums you know what i mean somebody that you know what i mean like these dudes i have like dude i've heard people pop off on at what i'm like bro what are you what have you done Exactly. Hey, aren't you wearing the same kit that Atwood has on the on the website? Yeah. Didn't you order that because you saw Atwood in there? But now you want to pop? Like, what? Who are you? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You no know, people that don't do their research, that don't know, you know, that don't don't know who a David Ricks is, or, or don't know who you know an Anthony Harris is, or that they don't know the history. This is it's weird because powerlifting is such a what have you done for me lately type sport here lately. You know what I mean? Like, so everyone's a goat. No fool. There's not not everyone's a goat. There's not a natty goat. There's not a, 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 a un, there's not a tested goat, untested goat. There's a goat and there's not. That's it. I don't think like, you can't be the greatest of all time, but with an asterisk. Like you, you're great of all time, but only in this subsector of whatever. Like there's a goat and there's not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but we're in a day and age where everyone's a goat. Everyone's yeah. the goat. Like the goat man, of this, the goat of that. The goat of yeah. that. Like, you know I'm guilty I mean? like, of it. I, I like, throw the goat emoji around. Yeah. Like I just, I'm not a, I've never been a big fan of the goat because there's no such thing as a, the goats only goat till the next goat comes up. Yeah, and it's always debatable. I mean, yeah, it's who's debatable. the goat and who's the gate goat in, in basketball? I mean, yeah. it's like we, we, we talk about that all day. Yeah, I mean, you talk thing. about it all day. So who's I'm the like, goat quarterback? Know, it's like yeah, you know, you know, and I feel like it. it it's always going to be up to the people to decide who their goat is. Because some people, some people's goat is different from others. Exactly. You know, I just, I'm like, dude, just leave the goat stuff. Leave the goat talk alone. And just how about you just enjoy what these people are doing? You know exactly. what I mean? Like, let me tell you, man. I guess I I came in the game right when you know right when Raw was starting to really pop off, mm-hmm. and man, I've seen goats come and go. Um, 2011 Longhorn Open. Yeah, dog. Is like, that your first meet? Is that is Open IPF have it right? All right. Man, I came in like right when it was just like, wait, what? And then I stopped after, like, dude, I don't want to do this. And then, like, oh, I get to go to Nats. All right, cool. Um, I can honestly tell you, man, you know, seeing some of these dudes lift is something. Yeah. Bro, but unless you've seen, oh, if you haven't seen Kim Walford pull for a final deadlift, you missed out. Yep. If you didn't see the crowd go, absolutely donkey when jesse norris is getting ready to pull 800 something pounds being like 90 kg you missed out on some stuff if you haven't seen the hype the lane lane norton creates you don't have to like you don't have to love him you don't have to like him but i can tell you like this when wayne when lane norton when lane norton was lane norton in he walked out i'll never forget that i'm like what is going on it was like elvis was in the building yeah you know what i mean like if you haven't if you haven't been, <laughs> if you haven't been in the warm up room when Taylor Atwood is on fire, bro, you have missed out. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm give you one that's gonna that, listen. If you weren't there when John Hack and Brett Gibbs was going at it, you can't talk to me. You ain't got we got nothing. We aren't we're not the same. Yeah, yeah. We got nothing. You got we got nothing to talk about. You don't know. You know nothing to power it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. a lot of people don't even know who Brett Gibbs is now. Well, if they don't know Jesse man, Norris. They don't yeah, know Jesse like, Norris. If you weren't there when these dudes were doing their thing, and here's the thing, it wasn't that long ago. Mm-hmm. You, you're doing yourself a disservice because you're not, you just, you're not looking. And again, some people just aren't, aren't big on history. Some people aren't big on all that stuff, man. But I'll be, I'll be honest with you. There's a reason why the NBA is so huge. There's a reason why the NFL is so huge. There's a reason why NHL is so huge. There's a reason why golf, you know, at the, at the PGA has grown how it is because one of the big factors, man, one of the big things that, that, that they, they, they managed to do is, they've managed to not forget their past yep. and they, you know, like they have their goats, whatever, but they've managed to somehow you know, not forget, you know, your Elgin Baylor's, your Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's, your Wilt Chamberlain's, yep. your Tony Dorsett's, your Walter Payton's, your Barry Sanders. You yep. know what I mean? Like your Wayne Gretzky's, your Mario mm-hmm. Lemieux's, like you, you don't forget those guys. And what we've done, what we tend to do is like, all right, you know what? He was here for a few years. Peace. We flush him out of our brains and that's it. Yeah. People have never, dude, if you weren't there at the Arnold when legit Ray went squatted a thousand plus pounds, run that back, blame somebody that goes right back and squats 500 kg. Yeah. 
He was kind of trying to figure out his depth. I watched Blaine Sumner take 500 kg, tuck his pelvis up under himself to hit depth and then stand back up. People talk about, oh, you can't, you can't lift for the bunt weight. I saw the dude do the ultimate bunt weight. Mm-hmm. Then stand up and dab on people. But like, like <laughs> I don't even, and I mean, I don't know, man. I just, you know. I got to go rewatch that one on YouTube. But Dude, but, I mean... I'm telling you, man, I, there's been a few moments in powerlifting where I'm like, man, I, I don't know that I, I would want to be anywhere else right now. Of course. You know I mean, like, you can't, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and I know. I know that the, the I know the Fed is different. I know things have changed, but I, I tell you like this: the feeling of powerlifting, the feeling of seeing somebody at the top of their game doing their thing, that doesn't change no matter who you are. Doesn't matter if you're Amanda Lawrence, doesn't matter if you're Benika, doesn't matter if you know if you're Mikey, doesn't matter if you're Gavin, doesn't matter if you're Delaney, it doesn't matter if you're any like any of our lifters, man. Like these guys and girls, they they do they do some amazing stuff. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I you know I'll. I'll I, and I, I guess that's why I get. I guess it 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 pisses me off how how just how dismissive we are with with a lot of these lifters. How we just yeah. don't, you know, like bro. I, how I, again, man? Hats off to Jesus. Jesus is doing some just some stupid stuff right now, and all the shine he's getting is well deserved for sure. Yeah. How can we just dismiss Ray like Ray ain't done nothing? Oh yeah. Come on, man. Like, we act like Ray's done nothing. I mean, people who just come in, in the sport now, they, they're like, Ray, who? Like we act like mm-hmm. Ray has done zero for the sport. Well, that's a thing. Like, cherishing the people who came before you, that's something that power team doesn't do well. And no, we're I think, trash at it. Could you imagine in baseball, if you're coming up, you're playing even Little League now, and you don't know who, like, Babe Ruth is? That was, like, 100 years ago. Yeah. Like they you know, know who Babe, he is. Yeah, they know Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb. They know like, it all. I mean, it, imagine, and imagine not knowing who. You know, you could walk to any baseball kid like, "Hey, who's the purest swinger that's ever lived?" Ken Griffey Jr. Easy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, easy. You know what and I mean? Like just, any any fifteen year old kid that plays baseball knows Ken Griffey Jr. Right? Yeah. But, you know what I mean? Because, but here's the thing. This is why I can tell you why, Paul. I can tell you why straight up. It's because <laughs> their dad. Their dad wanted to be King Griffey Jr. at some point. Their dad wanted to have a swing like King Griffey Jr. Mm-hmm. Their grandpa maybe maybe didn't like King Griffey Jr., but he knew King Griffey Sr. Yeah, yeah. And he was able to, you know, watch how, oh, you know, this is how he did. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, their, or their grandpa and dad, like, they were big Mark McGuire, Jose Canseco fans. They were big, you know, Tony Gwynn fans, Barry Bond fans, whatever. But that tradition was passed on, that love for the game, the history yeah. of the game. Well, That's powerlifting is not one of those things. If powerlifting never, is ever going to get to that point, it's going to be at like, hey, we tell our kids like, hey, man, I remember this one cat, Jesse Norris. This dude was so cold. Yeah. Hey, man, there was a point, man. There was this dude, Russ. I used to watch this cat named Russ, even by Russ Wall. That fool was so strong. Like, you know, it has to be one of those type things. Like, hey, man, I remember this one time, man. We're in yeah. Austin. Uh, I watched Bryce Lewis. He called Cramps, but he still won. Yeah, like, you know, hey, you remember the coach John Gruden that coached the Raiders? You no, know, his son was cold. Man, yeah. I remember one that you know, it's gonna be like, you know, that's how it's you know, yeah. We man, we have some dogs in this sport, and you know, it, it's it takes it's gonna take time to to you know to kind of grow that, but I mean it, it starts really with us, like you know, really working to 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 remember these people. Yeah, if I yeah, said I Brad, if I said Brad Gillingham to any of these new cats, they wouldn't know who I was talking about. Yeah. I mean, I barely know that much about Brad Gillian, you know, you know what I mean? Even, 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 you know, as just a a, a big fan of the sport and stuff, I've picked up a lot, but like, even I've got a lot of work to do, go back and learn. Yeah, man. And it's, here's Um, the thing. It's not hard. It just takes, it just takes a little bit of time, takes a little bit of effort, effort. But but, I mean, but I mean, I, I can, I can see this, man. I can honestly see this, give it five. I'm going to say give it 10 years, right? Mm-hmm. I'm being 100 with you right now. I can see it right now. 10 years from now, Russ is probably going to be done, right? He's going to have won all this stuff, right? You're going to walk into a gym. There's going to be some little TikTok mushroom head kid in the corner. Getting ready to get ready to squat or getting ready to deadlift. He's going to walk up. He'll take his chain. He's going to tuck it in his lips. 
Like, hey, bro, why you doing that? Oh, man, that's just, I just always do that. Yeah, my homeboy did. I started doing that. Like, bro, you know who, you know who started that? You know who Russ Swole is? Russ, bro, I don't know who Russ Swole is. I promise you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yep. you know what I mean? It's going to be some kid, you know, doing all stuff. There's going to be some kid, you know what I mean? He's going to walk up, start pop locking before he walks into the thing. Like, man, why you doing like, shit, my home, I saw this dude do it. Like, yeah, that's Delaney. Delaney Wilder started Delaney Wilder start doing that. Like, what? Who? Who? Yeah. You know who Delaney is? No, I don't, I don't know who that is. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It, I, I just, you know what That's I mean? That's why we like, got to immortalize all these people, you know? Yeah, dude. We got to like, tell their stories. And, and can you, you know. imagine? Can you imagine Amanda Lawrence or ben, uh, Bonica being forgotten, dude? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine? Bro, I would listen. Let me put you on something. We don't even talk about Danny Mello that much anymore. I was just going to say, yeah. I mean, women Danny, walking in, squatting in listen. days. Bro. Yeah. What Danny did for the game, what Danny did for the game, especially for, 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 for the female side, can never be repaid. Like, for real, though. Like, Danny, Danny brought a lot of eyes to powerlifting. You know what I mean? Yeah. She really, 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 really did. Continues to do so. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Amanda did the exact same thing. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, Jen Thompson, exact same thing. Yeah. You know? We don't. We barely talk about Kim Wofford. Oh, when I meet someone that that doesn't know who Kim Wofford is, I mean, I'm just like it's it drives it drives me crazy. But I mean, it's that's why we got to keep saying their names. Yeah, you know? man. Like you got to. Re- and the thing is, it's not. It's no one's. It's no one's responsibilities but our own. Like we got to keep these people's names alive. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I man. feel like. I mean, again, it's just me because I love the dude so much. But I mean, as long as I'm breathing, people are gonna know about Dave Riggs. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna know about Anthony Harris, Gene Bell. They're gonna know about Gene Bell. You know what I mean? Like, and again, it's not necessarily a black white thing, but as a as a, a black lifter, those are the men that I look up to. Those are the men that I'm like, all right, do I want to pat? I mean, am I gonna pattern my like my game after these guys? Maybe not. But do I want to pattern my longevity, my impact in the sport? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gene, Gene Bell still looks like he can walk out on, on platform right oh, now. Probably put so up jacked. easy for Yeah, man. I, I just saw a post of him on Instagram with two, like, young lifters. Yeah. He's like coaching. He continues he's, gives, gives into the sport. I mean, and he's got legacy, dude. I mean, Ian's no – look, Ian's, Ian's one of the coldest lifters walking the planet and gets – barely gets the shine, which is crazy to me. I don't understand how the – the oldest portion of our power in sport is, is equipped lifting and they get almost zilch yeah. in terms of love. Yeah. Yeah. Even I got the fact better. that the fact that Joe cap doesn't have at least 200,000 followers, one of the most entertaining people on the planet, on the planet. But I mean, I'm just, I just don't Blaine Sumner. Blaine Sumner has done some stuff that we, we may never see ever happen again. You know what I mean? Like there, there was a point, Mike Tashir, same thing. Mike T's done some stuff that you probably will never see happen from a heavyweight ever again. It just is what it is. Yeah. You know, but you know, I know as long as I'm breathing, you're going to know about the Mike T's. You're going to, you're going to know about the Kelly Brantons, regardless of how they feel about Kelly. You're going to know about the Ray Williams. You're going to know about the Blaine Sumners. You know what I mean? Like, dude, there's, there's some people out there that have just, man, they paved the way for us straight up. They yep, really, yep. really, really, really have. I don't care what feds are in. I don't care about any of that. I don't care what feds are in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As long as I breathe, you're going to know about John Hack. Yeah. You're going to know about Brett Gibbs. Because, again, I feel like it's my responsibility. Like, hey, man, if I don't say it, who is? If I don't talk about these dudes, who is? You know what I mean? Some of us, you know, it's like it's like that old stuff. It's like those old storytellers, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, there, was, there weren't really, there weren't books back then. So they had to have somebody to tell the story. The oral somebody history. had to yeah, someone had to someone had to tell that story. Like, you know, like who's gonna remember her name? Like who's gonna remember their name? Who's gonna spread that story about them? You know, hey, dude, tell my story. When I die, tell my story. You know, I feel like that's still up to us. I mean, because there's one thing to read about it, but to, to, for it to come from a person's mouth that was there, it's always different, it always has a different impact. You know, I mean, yeah. and I've been blessed to be at some of the dopest meets known to man, you know, and I I, you know, I I was there when you had Blaine, you had Jezza, you had Ray. You had Kelly all in the same platform. Dude, are you crazy? Yeah. 
Are you crazy right now? That was the greatest. I was sitting next to Mike Tashir, my dude. I was sitting next to Mike, all right? Mike's on my left. <laughs> and Kelly's family's right, like, right, right over the, like, right over Mike's shoulder on, like, the left side. I, I will never forget it. We're eating Twizzlers. And I'm giving Mike, I'm sharing these Twizzlers with, with Mike, and we're watching probably, in my opinion, the greatest super heavyweight battle I've ever seen in my life. I watched Blaine come out. He came out mixed. No, no. Yeah. Was it mixed? Yeah, I think it was. I think Blaine came out mixed uh, conventional. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess it wasn't really working that well for him. So my man switches to sumo mid-meet. Wow. Pulls hook mid-meet. He's pulling for the win. Gets it almost up and loses the grip at the top. Damn. I... That was my, that was the point. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I, I was love, I love powerlifting. But that's when I fell in love with powerlifting. It wasn't even me lifting. It was watching those dudes lift. Where was that? That was in, it was in Finland. Maybe it was in Finland. I think it was in Finland. Yeah. It was, and that was my first time watching Kelly lift. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, dude, I like this. That dude was stylish, real, like, I never seen a big boy move, but move that way. Like, he was moved uh -huh. different. He jayed up. Hell, hair was all gelled up you know what i mean like he was just he's a pretty big boy that's the first pretty big boy i ever seen like oh that boy pretty pretty you know that's um, awesome you know but I, I i will never forget like you know that feeling of seeing that and watching kim just do her thing and just feel like man that's the first time i think i felt like i belonged in powerlifting you know what i mean like i always yeah. feel like ah, i'm just this this cat that's like the cracks jokes likes to have fun just i'm having i'm just rolling with it dude we we gotta do a uh story time with ls podcast oh yeah Please. Well, once every couple of weeks, we got to just check in oh, and dude, be like, All right, tell, tell us, them, tell us this story. Let me tell you about this one time. But yeah, I just, yeah. but powerlifting, it's a, it's a beautiful sport. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't have to tell you all the stuff yeah, that yeah. you could, God, all the stuff that you do. You know what I mean? Like, it's not one of those things you expect to get paid from. It's not one of those things that, you know I mean? I mean, you would like to get the bag, but I mean, come on, man. Like no one's really getting the bag in powerlifting right now. Yeah. Um, but it's one of those things where you want to, you know, you can't be in this sport and not want to give back. Yep. Like you can't, um, you know, I mean, and it's, it's, it's cool talking to you because you're, you like, you're one of the, you know, you're one of the few that are behind the scenes that have one of the biggest impacts on our sport right now that people don't even know, like, ah, well, who's this dude that's doing all this stuff with, with the social media? Who's, you know what I mean? Like, that's you, you know what I mean? Like, and, you know, it's crazy because like, if I didn't know you, <laughs> if I didn't yeah. know you and I didn't know like how the sausage is made, you would swear like, oh, this dude must have a team of like 20, 30 people. <laughs> nah, my dude, maybe, maybe we got a couple maybe, of interns. Yeah, that's it, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, but it's one of those things where you know the storytelling is being told by you now, you know what I mean? And you know, those those the 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 volumes the the volumes that people are going to be looking through to figure out like man what was it like back in 2022 at worlds like hey you know what you can go to pilots in america they still have that stuff up yeah yeah it's archived you can look at all that stuff you know what i mean you're yeah. the storyteller so much so that i mean the way you've told the story the way you guys have managed to tell a story you know has changed the way other people tell their stories yeah you know what i mean so like i think that's that's a, that's a huge part of like you know how we talked about as far as like Mm -hmm. making sure that, that that these legends are remembered because right now we have we have legends to be like i feel like you know you know god blesses that young man and he stays healthy and he continues his journey hey soups is gonna be you know he's being mentioned up there with ray um yep. you know amanda ma ma amanda maintains her health and just keeps doing what she does you know you know benico probably have 20 by then but amanda's gonna be 11 12 time champion yep. um you know the thing that Amanda's doing because of, you know, her, you know, the thing that Amanda and, 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 and Bonica and, and all, so many of those, 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 those young ladies on that side are doing is they're showing that there's a, so much of a higher level of, of lifting on the, on the women's side than, than people even realize. Yeah. And it's not like, oh, she's strong for a girl. They're just straight up strong now to the point that they're lifting more than some of these dudes that are popping all this talk. 
Like, bro, yeah. you can't live for the Manda. Yeah. You, you're worried about Taylor, bro. You can't even live for the Manda, my dude. Like, yeah. Taylor, Taylor is the outlier of all outliers when it comes to 74s. This was an outlier for 83s. You know what I mean? So, like, to, to speak on his name and not have, well, you better have about three or four world championships before you speak on his name. So, like, you know what I mean? You know, yeah. you can't speak on Taylor. I know you can't speak on Amanda. Amanda can outlift you right now with no warm up. Like, you know, like, they're just dudes that just pop and pop and pop. And it's crazy because it's only the guys that really just run their mouths. Yeah. I mean, the, like, the women are so great. I mean, at least the, 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 the interactions that I've seen, they're so great about empowering and encouraging and showing each other love, showing Amanda love, showing Bonica love. It's just these these insecure dweeb TikTok mushroom heads that just want to pop off yeah, and pop yeah. off and think that they they've owed some type of I don't know an audience. Like you you you've done nothing to, like to 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 earn an audience. Um, I that's I guess for me that's the part of powerlifting I, I wish just didn't exist yeah. is the 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 people that talk that have nothing to talk about. Um, there's some, there's so many just great people that have done so much for the sport that are probably never going to get that shine. Um, but again, I can applaud you because you've, you've done such a great job about, you know, highlighting lifters that otherwise would not, would not get that love. Dude, there's, there's so many masters lifters that you guys post and so many junior lifters that you guys post that otherwise would not get that kind of love. Um, I appreciate it, man. I mean, it's, it's my honor to do it. And, you know, you, you've been a huge inspiration to me. You know, I have my, my idols that I look up to you and uh, Ryan Lapidat. And it's like just the positivity, the optimism, the enthusiasm that never dies. And I remember you said to me in Panama, you said, you know, if not me, then who, who else yeah, would man. do it? And that's just my, I, that's like my motto. Now I'm just like, yeah, who, if not me, then who? And and I'm happy to, to, to share this platform with anyone else that wants to raise their hand. And no, you, I mean, and you really have like, you know, do you, God, man, it's just in your evolution. I, I think, you know, I'm a nerd. I mean, you know, you already know we, we we have frequent talks. I'm a nerd about like what goes on behind the camera, what goes on behind the edit, you know. Yeah. I uh so I know the work that you guys put in. I know the work that you put in. I know like you have to evolve with technology and you have to, you know, you have to be on that that cutting edge of just, you know, getting those eyes to watch, you know, and how you get those eyes to watch and the manner in which they watch and the stories that you I mean, you're 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 the closest thing we have to a town crier right now. Like you, you, you tell the stories. Um, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's about a sport that's really a recreation. That's really, uh, this is a luxury. It's not a necessity. Yeah. It's supposed to be fun. And people say it all the time. Oh, it's just fun. It's supposed to be fun. But, you know, even when it's not fun, it should be fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, oh, even like, so, so like with Ryan talking about him, like, you know, he go he goes off to worlds and does this like eight days in a row, all mm -hmm. these sessions, live mm -hmm. commentary. I mean, even doing like after this podcast, I'm going to feel tired, like doing just talking for two hours. Like you, yeah. it'll, wipe you out. it'll wipe you out. And then I remember DMing him and saying something like, Man, because I've been in the trenches, like in Panama, like we we did a long, long meet there, and Man, everything. And I mean, the long you, meet, did the live did a lot stream, of work. yeah. And so I remember I messaged him, and I was like, "Man, you you're killing it on the live stream. You sound like you're having fun still." And he's like, "Because I am having fun. You know what I mean?" It's and they're so just much like, fun. "There's just no substitute for that." That like, it really, yeah, man, it's just I'm telling you, man, like it's you know, I you know, I, I know that we're making this push. I know we're pushing hard. Yeah. to get to the Olympics. I know that that's, I mean, that's the ultimate goal, man. And I, in my heart of hearts, man, I really, really, really hope that, that we accomplish that goal as a community. Yeah. But man, in that, in our, our, our quest to do that, man, I just hope we don't lose that, that fun. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Um, Has to stay fun. I mean, I, I've, I've been on a, 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 you know, I've been on, you know, a, a cheer councils that you know tried to help get cheer into the olympics man and i felt like the closer we got to like you know olympic recognition it started losing a little bit more fun it started becoming more more and more formal um and there's sports that's why i just don't get about the whole idea of sports like it's supposed to be fun sports are recreation bro yeah it's it's an escape like, from real life it, i don't get how the closer you get to the highest level 
the more it starts becoming stiff and let me let me straighten up my tie and hey you gotta do like it's it's whack like it's just it's fun i mean i understand like you know you want to present a good product but you also want to present a product that people like dude this is joyful this is yeah this is something i really want to watch you know um there can't be such a big i guess i guess in my opinion this is ls only speaking for ls i don't speak on behalf of anyone else yeah there can't be such a, a a big disconnect from the fun that you you started doing it for versus the goal that you're trying to accomplish there's if there's a disconnect between it, that's so big and broad that there's no fun in between like why are you doing it because mm-hmm. after that it's just like everything else it's just like all right well this is just a nine to five that i'm doing this is just a another project that's on my desk to make sure that i finish mm-hmm. like, you know what i mean like i think two like, people people have more they do better when they have fun absolutely i know i mean i see it in all sports i'm stupid you know, i like i saying, if i'm not laughing i don't even really want to be there yep yep i'm laughing at everything i mean yeah, i know i love I that's just, why i love you dude i just really it's you're it's the just, happiest guy in powerlifting man man like why not be like yeah what else is i mean you go to lift there's still nothing that there's there's nothing that you're going to feel in life that feels better than going in and just dominate whatever weight that you have set for that day even if it's volume nobody wants to do volume but bro when you're done you got the little leg i'm like why these boys can't see me i mean every power <laughs> for right now every power for right now swears if you get a little leg pump you got to get in front of that mirror and get that get that stuff and like hey check these veins out you know what i mean i'm fat and i'm still like hey yeah you can't you know what i mean like i just yeah yeah it's just a lot of fun to go and do this go and do something you love and have a lot of fun. You know what I mean? If you happen to be around some people that want to do the same thing, that's dope. Then let's get community. Let's get it cracking. But you know, it's, you know, at, at, is there a point where you stop having fun just because you want to just, you know, to say that you're a lifter? I don't know. I, I don't think it's a, uh, yeah. I don't think it's, I don't, I just don't think it's fair to the sport to, to sacrifice the fun. Right. But she says the same thing. Um, She's having fun. Um, playing with I mean, there's, there's a side to it where, you know, you think like the, all the training that like professional athletes put in to, you know, be a professional football player and stuff. It's like, there's parts of it that are not fun, I'm sure. Yeah. And, but then when you're out there playing the game, you know, it's nothing which, like it, man. exactly. It's like, it's you gotta be having like fun. You gotta be savoring the moment and enjoying Dude, it. I've had, I mean, you know, I've run, I've run super fast race. And there's nothing like coming out the starting box, like perfect. Yeah. And literally getting a jump on everybody and you just run and you're running and running. You stay in your form and you're running, you're running. You get halfway to that 50, 50 meter mark and you don't, you still don't see anybody and you don't hear anybody. Yeah. And you in your head, you're like, I'm leaving these fools. <laughs> There's nothing like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, you know, I've taken a handoff and, you know, the in the, the play happens just like coach draws it up the hole opens up and it's just green grass as far as you can see and yeah. all you see is that bright yellow the bright yellow goal post and like i'm just gonna run to the goal post and you just leave people and you go you smell the grass you can't even hear the crowd and you can't look up at the jumbo trying to you can see yourself leaving people like there's nothing like that you know yeah. what i mean but there's also there's also nothing like hey these fools have the audacity to only be up by 20 kg and i get the final pull mm-hmm, mm-hmm. oh my how stupid are you are you dumb are you dumb walking up chalking up and as soon as your hands touch that like, oh this hoe's about to fly <laughs> like i there's nothing like that man there's nothing like the sport that you give your heart and soul to you know what i mean yeah, yeah. and then when you're done there's nothing like being able to turn it off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, I, I like being able to turn it off because like, I like being able to miss it. Mm-hmm. I love being able to miss. It. And again, I make my bread from this. Yeah. I'm some amazing athletes. Shout out to everybody. Um, you know, I, you know, I sell apparel from this nice shirt, by the way. Like, I mean, this problem thing is affording me like, you know, a, a nice little life, right? Yeah. It really has, you know, and you know, I, I get to, you know, give back to the sport even more. Shout out Power of America. Like I get to give out, give back you know, to the sport, you know, and it's such a major part of my life, but it's not my life. Mm-hmm. You know, I get to turn it off. And as soon as I turn it off, I get to, you know, run around this little rug rack, 
go to the park, do all that fun stuff, run around, go crazy with my Frenchies, all that good stuff, you know? And when it's time to turn powerlifting back on, I miss it, bro. Yeah. Like, I love being able to miss something. Same thing with cheer. I turn it off as soon as I'm done. Mm-hmm. And I walk into practice, as soon as I walk in, I'm like, man, I miss these kids. I'm glad. I'm mm-hmm. like, I like being able to be a part of something that I love and then not consume me. Yeah. But as soon as I'm in it, it consumes my whole being, my whole heart. Mm-hmm. And then I can turn it off again. Like, no, I mean, that's maybe awesome, that's maybe that's why it's so fun. Maybe that's why it's, it's fun to us. You know what I mean? Like, you know, maybe why I can, I'll go through a million of your posts. Like, oh, I see what Paul did with that one. That was clean right there. I like that. I like the little transition. He did with that one. <laughs> oh, I see. He did, he copy pasted on that one, but he changed the song. Oh, he did a little different angle. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. to, to be able to, to like study what, you know, like some of my favorite people do, like, you know, because I'm, you know, I, I love the sport. Cool. Now, what other parts of the sport do I love? Like, hey, you know what? I love the lifting part, but I love how Paul can make this dude who went four for nine make him look like he just went nine for nine and everything. I'm like, I don't know how you did that because I, I don't know how to do that. You know what I mean? And, you know, like, yeah. you know, even like, you know, with, with a lot of our content creators, you know, at, at, uh, at BPN, shout out the sponsor. Um, yeah. To see how they, oh man, to see how they could take a, a, just a person and just turn them into a superhero for just a minute. Yep. You know, to, you know, I don't know, like I said, I don't know that there's a, a, a fed a fed uh team or i should say a federation um social media team that has run reels like you guys have like you guys have reels in a chokehold so much so it's like ah uh, it's like a i'm not even that big old tiktok bro but i can yeah. tell you straight up there's points where i just scroll through tiktok just to laugh and i find myself doing that especially when like people compete like you know we use the Sheffield, for example. Mm-hmm. When the Sheffield was popping off, I was like, I was rolling through our reels, like, yup, yup, yeah. yup. I just watched it, but I'm going back to see how y'all edited. Like, oh, that's what yeah. you did with that one. Like, you know what I mean? It could be a screen grab. Like, how did he make the screen grab look so clean? Like, it's it's little things like that. I'm like, dude, this is why I like the sport because you know it's only three lifts, my dude. It's yeah. really only three lifts. <laughs> How can you take three lifts and be so innovative with it? How can you add so much color to such a black and white up and down event? Like, yeah. But you do it. Y'all do it. I mean, and you're doing it in such a mighty way that it's like, all right, I can't wait till the next week to see what it is. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean, like you took these, like, I, I will tell you this. I mean, and, and I'm going to shout out Steve Mann real quick because, you know what I mean? Like, because I, I had no intention of ever, ever caring about high school nationals unless one of my oh. kids was in it. Yeah. The way you guys freaked high school nationals in those reels, I'm like, bro, that looked like the place to be. Yeah, like, man, yeah. I missed out. It I was, missed, man. I it really out. was the it was I the missed, place to be. Yeah, I missed out. And I'm like, man, see, man, yet again, he did his thing. Yep. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. He he let he put together a hell of a meet, man. And um he always does, man. And and I mean that I gotta be totally, you know, I'm going to a lot of meets. I've been to like 10 meets and in, in 12 months, something like that. And, um, you know, doing a lot of work and everything. And I definitely was like, okay, now we got high school national. Like, what's this going to be like, you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking in my head, like, well, you know, we're just coming out of Austin. We had like our superstars, you know, we got Natalie Richard, like breaking 500 mm-hmm. kilo barrier and stuff like doing crazy stuff. And I'm like, okay, this is going to be like a little bit of a letdown, you know, or it's going to be just like, you know, the temperature in the room is going to be a little lower. Yeah. It wasn't man. It was, no, it was almost bro. crazier. The kids, they turned up so hard, man. It it's was, that, it was, I think it's that 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 youthful. Yeah, it's just that youthful electricity, man. Because like that's how it was in, in APF. Exactly. When the dudes were out, man. Like it's yeah. you know. So I feel like I mean the sport has a bright future. We just I would really like to figure out a way that we meld both old and new. Yeah, yeah. And you know somehow you know ma- manage to you know show our legends some love and you know. Absolutely. Yeah, because I feel like that's all we're missing. I really feel like we that's all we're something. missing. Like, I mean, you know, the, you know, I mean, I'm never expecting these new Jacks to, to really show love and respect. You know what I mean? You know, hell, they don't even show LeBron love and respect, which is crazy. Yeah. They don't even yeah. show the, you know what I mean? And so yeah. it's one of the things where like, I'm not expecting them to be like, oh, bow down to every, every person, you know, that comes before you. But man, there's some people that it should be an unspoken thing. Like, oh, wait a minute. That's Amanda. Yeah. Part yeah. to see, let her walk. The, oh, that's Monika. Let her, you know, hey, that's Mikey. 
that's the G right there. Let them go through. Like, I mean, if if they're, you know, if if they if if they put us on the map in any form or fashion, you know, or put us on that top of that podium, the top top, they, they deserve their flowers. You know what I mean? Like totally. At no point should Ray ever walk in a room and not get all the flowers. Yeah. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like it just is what it is. You know what I mean? And you know, like it's, but again, I feel like a lot of that comes from us. I mean, active lifters, you know, the active, you know, you know, your, your, your active, you know, superstars that we have, you know, in the feds all over the place, like, you know what, they need to be the ones showing people love. Like, I mean, you know, if, if you got Mikey in the room, you know, Mikey walks in and Amanda walks in, Mike's like, Oh, snap it's Amanda. What's up? Like people are like, Oh, Mikey just showed her love. Okay. You know, yeah. or, you know, man is the room and then Mikey walks, oh, hey, that's Mikey, right? Yeah, y'all know my mic. You know what I mean? Like, it's got to be one of those things where, you know, we've got to be the ones that set the tone for, you know, for, you know, how we treat one another. Because, I mean, you can set a person's leg. It's easy to set a person's legend, but the hard part is just to continue their legacy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you can set anyone's legend. Um, you know, so it, it, it has to be one of those things where we, as a, as a Fed, we as individuals, we need to be the ones that are really doing our work yeah. and our due diligence to make sure that we, we show people love and, you know, um, cause I mean, even, you know, even, you know, with how fast it's progressing, it, it needs to be, you know, and again, this is LS speaking for us. I just feel like, you know, you don't, you don't want to forget your David Ricks. You don't want to forget, you know, you don't want to forget your, you know, your Lynn Holman's man. You don't want to forget like, you know, yeah. I mean, even, we have so many living legends that are just walking around. And I feel like because kind of you mentioned with powerlifting, you can say active to your a hundred if you want to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, if, sure. if these, if people decide I'm going to retire and I'm going to stay gone, it might be different. But with powerlifting, it's one of those things like, all right, I'm going to lift. So I don't really want to lift anymore. And then I'm just going to fade to black. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we never really have like a ceremony like, Hey, so-and-so is going to retire. We need a hall of fame. And Bro, come on, we, man. I we, quit. Yeah. I would tell you, this would be a little, you know, breaking news. I don't know if Mike Z, you know, Mike Z, I mean, people don't know who Mike Z is. I mean, he's the executive director of Power to America. Yeah. He's the one who empowered me to do what I do. Yeah. And I mean, put the team Mike together. Z. And Mike Z would be considered a GOAT. He definitely is yeah. a GOAT. He's one of and, the greatest that's ever done any type of social. Yeah. And, and he just, um, he's got ideas for doing stuff like this. Like, uh, we're in the process of doing something with the website right now, you know, that will be coming out soon. That's like, gonna hopefully immortalize some of our greats and stuff. That's and, dope, man. You know, you then, already know me. They gave me chills. That's awesome, it, man. And then, um, you know, I think just my mind is racing right now, just talking to you about this, like, I'm definitely going to put some effort. Maybe we're trying to build the media team. So like, if you're hearing this, you want to help, you know, do this stuff with us send us a dm and we'll get yeah, you on the man. team i mean the sky's the, more, the limit i'm you telling can, you the more the merrier yeah you can oh. do what you can write your own you can write your own ticket over here with power in america if you want to be on the media team and do you know do yeah, great I things do. i mean that's um, i think that's the big, biggest thing i mean you know right uh, you know, rising tide is going to raise all ships yeah i mean and there's there's never been any there's never been a full a room full of innovators that ended up getting nothing accomplished you know yeah. what i mean <laughs> that makes you know exactly. what i mean like it's just we have so many creative you know, capable people that, you know, that want an opportunity or maybe need the opportunity, just didn't know that there was an opportunity that, that was there. Here's your opportunity. Yeah. It's coming straight from the horse's mouth. Use, take, take advantage of the opportunity. I mean, absolutely. I, I'm not gonna lie. That has me hyped, man. The fact that, I mean, if, 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 and when they have like some type of hall of like, honors for, you yeah. know, yeah. like, I mean, it's, it's, you know, we will. That's, we will. I just feel like that's dope with me, even if it's on the lines of, Hey, you know what? Let's reach out to our membership. Let's yeah. put out a, a survey, you know, but, who are 10, you know, who are, you know, 10 men and 10 women, you know, that, that you think, you know, you know, that, are, that you feel are lifting legends, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, and whoever crosses over like, Hey, you know, we had 10 votes for David Ricks. Well, you know what? David Ricks, you're like, yeah. I don't know how y'all do it. Y'all, you know, Mike, Mike, yeah. Mike Z is one of the most brilliant men walking the planet. He, he if, if it can be done, Mike Z will figure it out. Yeah. That's one thing that I I I, I have like, no doubt. Like if if it can be done, Mike Z will figure out a way. Yeah, for sure. And if and if someone's hearing this and you know you want to um, do like an essay on one of these great lifters, legends of the past, you know, I mean, and that if even if that's the only thing you want to sign up and raise your hand to do, you know, yeah. like I want to do I want to do a fifteen minute video about you know X Y Z legendary 
yeah. uh, lifter in the game, like to uh, immortalize them, you know, clarify for people like who they are, what they did. Absolutely. We'll put it up there. We'll put it up on the website, put it on our YouTube, whatever it is. That would be so um, awesome. So, yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm getting all kinds of ideas right now and we are building the media team out right now. Like I put out a call and stuff and um, we, we, we got a lot of people that came, came forward and answered the call and, so yeah, we're going to be doing more and more stuff. It's going to be badass. What we're doing now, man, is just, it's nothing. We're scratching the tip surface. of the iceberg, baby. Tip, it's of, the tip iceberg, of the iceberg. So. I mean, and it's, 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 it's good. I mean, I think that's been the, that's been the cool thing. Just kind of watching it all grow. It just keeps yeah. growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. And I mean, people gravitating toward it. Um, and it's, you know, the quality, the quality has never been subpar, which is always dope. So it's just like, oh crap, they're doing this. They're doing this. They're doing this. Oh man, this is great. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that's been the that's been the fun part just kind of seeing how it just keeps evolving and just how you know you yourself just become keep becoming more and more innovative and just figuring out different ways to to tell the stories and just get the word out to people well um, you know i got and, one idea i'm gonna steal from you oh god well, I, pop set talk yeah man <laughs> <laughs> i want to do that at the meet i want to yeah. do that i want to do that in the warm-up room you know i want to do that on the platform yeah like it's just that's just you know it's a lot of fun man I, yeah it is it's, talk is it's so fun i actually I, I'm, I'm doing an episode today uh for my deadlifts because it'll be the first time i actually pull yeah over seven since world so i won't see how that works out um yeah yeah right baba girl i know right um yeah. so yeah it's just one of those huh you want a cookie all right we'll get a cookie after this oh <laughs> <laughs> well, she just she just discovered uh lemon oreos so nice. yeah yeah she just she discovered lemon oreos uh last week so been using that for cleanup for everything like hey you clean up you get a you get a cookie so, oh, <laughs> so i don't know if people if, if you've been, or been watching her i don't know if people are watching or in the watch you'll see she's kind of going up yeah, and around see her she's here, finding here, here. she's finding stuff to pick up and put up Hey, she's asking for a cookie now. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cute. That was cute. I will. I promise you get a cookie. That's awesome. I promise you. Yeah. So <laughs> she's been, she's learned to find art of hustle now. Like, so she's been hustling <laughs> out of cookies. So just find little things here and there, like pick up like cookie. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So. You Got yourself you know, a little cleaning service. Yeah. A little, the one-year-old cleaning service, huh? Cookie. I know. Good cookie. So, um. Speaking of innovating, more breaking news stuff. We're not even going to get through this. I mean, I got a whole thing of stuff, but we'll, we'll, we'll barely get through the breaking news segment, which was like Sheffield. And then uh, the other thing is, is PA has started athlete committee. Yeah. You're, one, you're one of the co-chairs. And I honestly actually don't know that much about it. And I think this is the first time it, and it's publicly been mentioned anywhere. Yeah. But, um, Tell us just a little bit about like what's been going on with that and um, oh man, plan is. I oh man, I don't want to get to messing stuff up. We yeah, got don't... a lot of we got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff. Um, got a lot of irons in the fire. Um, yeah. we got some great great ideas. Um, and I'll try to I'll try to I'll try to. I, I won't speak for everyone else. I'll just speak for myself. Uh, shout out to Melissa Copeland because she's on co chair. Um, yeah. amazing. The the committee is absolutely amazing. Um, um, you know, when, when we all like, you know, uh, were assembled, I felt like it was Voltron, man. Like we just, it's, it's dope. Uh, um, that's awesome. But, uh, honestly, anything to do with the athlete, the athlete's voice, uh, athletes concerns, of uh, uh, the concerns of, of the membership, um, that's us. Um, we're going to try to, you know, do our best to be the voices of, of, you know, which it's crazy. It's crazy to say because there really is no one that's not being heard. Um, yeah, yeah. So, but as we grow, as like we we're grow, to, as, yeah, yeah, as we grow, obviously, I mean, and I mean, the membership keeps growing and growing and growing. And as you know, as we grow, like, I mean, those voices that were, you know, once individual, they're going to become masses. Um, mm -hmm. So there, obviously, there's going to have to be something in place, a committee in place, to make sure that those voices are still heard on those individual levels. You know, and relayed back to you know the the EC um, and you know, decisions that are made, you know, for the membership that are made for the athletes that are in the athlete's best interest. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know, that's part of our job. You know, that's part of the committee's job is really going to be making sure that, you know, we're, you know, uh, a fair, equal, and, you know, uh, intelligent representation, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for the athletes, for the, for the membership, you know, and 
you know, the, the, the cool fact is, you know, I mean, and again, I won't speak on everyone um, because I'm sure there's going to be more of an official announcement made. Um, yeah. It's, it's active athletes. It's, you know, um, active members. It's, you know, comprised of, you know, um, world champions. It's comprised of world game champions. It's surprised. Yeah. It's comprised of some, some heavy hitters. Um, and so any and all, you know, facets of, of, of lifting, judging, um, that are the within powerlifting America, um, anything that, that, that our membership is comprised of our, our committee is made of. Um, awesome. And our, our job is really going to be making sure that we do right. One, we do right by the, the people of this, of this fed, but we also do right by, you know, um, you know, executive committee and making sure that, you know, that, that we're all trying to see eye to eye. Yeah. Um, there's like, dude, I'll, I cannot wait. And you guys are like actually on the board and like, we'll be in board meetings yeah. and we'll be able to kind of be the athletes. Like, yeah. Like, voice and myself, yeah we both have, well, we both have, we're both voting, voting members of the board. Um, yeah. I love that. Which is crazy. But, yeah. you know, why would they give me that? No, I'm joking. Yeah, um, no, I love that, though, because, um, you know, it ensures that the athletes, you know, have a yeah. vote. And, and also there's some, you know, different representation. Yeah. On the board, so. Well, I mean, and I, I can say, you know, as far as the 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 this Fed goes, man, the one thing that I've always wanted to 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 do was just be involved, Um yeah. You know, and it's not about hear my voice, hear what I have to say, but it's just like, you know what, man, like federations are comprised, composed of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And at the root of all, these are people that care about, if you stick around after anything more than two or three years, you care about the federation that you're in. Yeah. Um, And you want to see it succeed. You want to see it do well. You want to see it thrive you know, because, you know, you're a part of it. And as, as it does, so it's just, you have, you start growing with, with pride in what it's about, you know, in, in, in what it does, you know, and I think for me, the longer I've been in the game, the more you're like, all right, well, where, where and how can I contribute? You know what I mean? How can I give back? You know, um, okay. I can do as a judge. All right, cool. I can host meets. All right, cool. But can I do anything more? Oh, you know, we have a committee, you know, and honestly, you want to the first actually, you know, speak on it to me, uh, speak to me on it. Um, and it really kind of opened my eyes. I'm like, you know what? Let me do some research and look into it and everything. I'm like, wait, this is, this is something super important. Like, I, this is something right up my alley. This is something I would really like to be a part of. You know, and again, you know, I think that's the, that's the part of 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 lifting and being a part of this community that people don't understand. Is like, you know, you, you know, you saw something in me that I didn't necessarily see in myself. I'm like, you know what, man? That's, you know, that that. I one, I trust you. I trust your word. I trust your your vision. And I trust you know you know, whatever that is that you saw on me, like, hey, man, it might be something you want to consider, you know, and the more I, I, I kind of read into it, the more I kind of, you know, researched, I'm like, this would be something I think I'd be not not, not necessarily good at, but yeah. I feel like this is something that I could, I could give my heart, my, my heart and soul to. This is something that I can, you know, combine my passion and, and my willing to want to give back, you know, with, and I mean, it kind of was like a, a, a hand in glove type fit. So, I mean, yeah. I can, I, I can only, you know, shout you out for that. I thank you for that, Paul. Um, sure, sure. And then, you know, with, with, you know, with, with, you know, PA reaching out and, and giving us an opportunity to, to kind of state our case of why we would be an awesome part of it. Like, it was just, I don't know, it, it turned out to, you know, to, it's turned out to be pretty awesome. Um, Good. You know, yeah. when, when they, st- when we make like the official announcements, then, you know, we can, I guess, talk about more in depth, but just, you know, yeah. for, yeah. you know, for the, for the sake of, of not, you know, ruin it for everyone else. I mean, cause some people might not want to, some people want to make maybe make yeah. their own announcement. Um, it's comprised well, it's, of some pretty pretty heavy hitters, and yeah. at at the same time, it's people that care about this federation. One, um, two, care about the people in this federation, and three, want this federation to grow um, in the right way. Um, still hearing the voices of, of of its of its people, um, and so you know, it's weird. Like we're the kind of the voice of the people. Um, yeah, yeah, and we've already got a we've got two or three um things already uh in that we're cooking up that i think that'd be awesome there's a couple of things that i that i actually our last meeting that i i reached out to the other the the other members asking what they thought about it and they actually liked it i was kind of scared to you know to you know to to mention it but there's some some things in terms of like you know uh growing our body and adding some diversification the diversification to our body and and really yeah. trying to you know um really trying to represent represent all athletes man so i'm, I'm hoping 
I'm really hoping and praying, man, it works out because I think it'll be great. It'll be great for the sport. It'll be great for our federation. And, you know, if and when's if and when it happens, you guys will know exactly when it happens. I'll probably be on my crying that we did it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, but we're trying to do some, we're trying to do some some cool stuff, you know, and mm-hmm. you know, and really just be, you know, just be here for the athlete. It's mm-hmm. that simple, really. We try to be here for the yeah. athlete, try to make sure that we bridge that gap between the athletes, um, you know, and and the 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 executive, you know, the executive committee, and just make sure that that everyone's voices are heard in that, you know, we're we're moving in a positive direction that's gonna help this federation grow. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fantastic, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. It's funny on this podcast. Like people, I, I like spill a little bit of tea here and there where it's like, um, I, I know official capacity. I, I don't really know what's going on with that committee, but, um, yeah. I know, you know, like there's, you know, I hear things and I, I hear, you know, there's rumors yeah. and stuff. So, so little things here and there in the unofficial capacity, I'll kind of break the, break the news. Yeah, um, man. So, like it's, but, it's exciting. It's really exciting, man. There's just, there's a lot of good stuff going on. Like I'm like, I can't, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, there's, there's, I can't thank Robert enough. I can't thank Mike T enough. I cannot thank Miriam enough. Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how she does it. I don't know how, he, I don't know how she and Rodney do it, dude. I have no clues. The they Elms. do so much. The, yeah, it, I mean, yeah. I mean, um, they just do so much, man. And, you know, all y'all, I can't even say that all of you guys do so much. Yeah, but those um, are names that don't get mentioned a lot. Yeah, you know, like I, I feel Ronnie like Elm. I feel like that's the hard part that people people that I personally didn't know. Yeah. You know, honestly, till like I, you know, got to really chatting with you and getting to know you and becoming friends with you. I really had no clue how much stuff went on behind the scenes, you know, how much, how many moving parts really go into like keeping it not necessarily even running a federation just keeping the fed afloat yeah i have no clue you know um and you know the more i get to know you guys and and see the the four or five different hats that you all wear because no one wears just one hat um i just man it's just like i it 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 trips me out i'm like man this is something that i want to be a part of you know but then you have to ask yourself i mean straight up as a man like Am I capable of keeping up with what they do? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is there going to be quality drop off if, if I decide, hey, let me jump in with you guys? Yeah. Because you guys have been operating at a higher level, damn near by yourselves since day one. You know what I mean? And it was like, all right, well, you got to do your thing. You're going to, you know, get this fed going. But you're, you're also doing it with a huge target on your back, what's well, like at the beginning. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like some of that has subsided a little bit, you know, and I feel like, as a result, you know, people, you know, people are able to just see like, you know what, man, it's not necessarily a us versus them type situation. It's just, you know what, you have options. Yep, you know what I'm yep. saying? And you can do this, you can do that, you can do this, you can get with that. It doesn't matter as long as you're, you know, doing, as long as you're doing right by the sport, as long as you're trying to grow the sport, it doesn't matter where you're going. We're all going to eat. Dude, there's so, yeah, there's so much room at the top for everybody to kick it. You know what I mean? And, you know, this is, this competition for this and that, it makes no sense. The only competition that should be is on the platform, homie. That's it. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know I mean? Otherwise, like, we're all going in the same direction. We're, we're not all competing. trying to go we're up, trying to dude. build the sport. We're trying to build this freaking sport, man. And it's like the the more you try to like tear one down, you're not doing yourself a service. You're doing yeah. yourself a huge disservice. So, I mean, in all, I mean, I feel like, you know, at least for, for with PA, I feel like it's just, I'm starting to see more of more of that, more of like, you know what, man, it's not about us versus anybody. Let's let's keep building this thing. Yeah. Let's keep building this thing. And that's, you know, that I don't, I don't care about the beef. I don't care about all that. That's, that's childish to me. Same, I don't care about here. any of that. Like for what? We're grown. We all came from the same family. Yeah. Know? We're like, yeah, like we're grown, dude. Like what, what does a grown man look like talking yam about another grown man? What does yeah. another grown woman look like talking trash about another grown woman? Like what, what kind of sense does that make? Bro, I got real bills to pay. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, none of this is putting millions is, of dollars in our pockets. This is all fun and games, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? This is supposed to be fun. I don't know where or who told us that it was so serious that, I mean, it was, it, you know, it's, people act like it's life and death. Yeah. Man, no one cares. The only yeah. people that care about powerlifting is powerlifters. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I love it. I love our sport. I love our people. 
But let's be 100 with like, you tell me like, yeah, man, I'm powerless. Oh, so you, you do this? It's really, oh, so you do this? Yeah. Like no one cares about powerlifters other than powerlifters. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So why are we working so hard to tear each other apart when it's not that many of us to be 100 with you? Yep. Like just yep. shut up, lift some weight. You know what I mean? Show somebody some love. Have a great time while you do it. And who knows? Maybe you'll get a PR out of it somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, there, well, just you no know, on the PA side, especially like we're a big tent. We want we want everyone uh, to yeah. join. Like, we want we want people who like you know if you want to help, you want to do something, we're gonna bring you in and, and absolutely let you, and all let hands you on go tech. to town on stuff. You know? Yeah, man. Like it's just at the rate of growth. I mean, it just you gotta have as many hands on deck as possible, man. I mean, yeah. and that's yeah. that's the way. That's the way it's gonna work. That's the only way we're gonna survive. That's the only way that we're gonna progress. Is you mean like you come in, you want to be a part of this? Cool. Yep. What do you want to do? We'll what are you great at? Oh, you, oh, you good with social media? Well, cool. Hey, you know what? Let me put you with my man. He's he, he runs a social media team. Yep. Oh, you're really good at like you're really good at organization. Have you ever thought about running a meet? Oh, so you've been in a lot of meets before? Hey, well, hey, won't you shadow with my homeboys over here? Like, you know what? I got a homegirl over there that she does meets. Won't you shadow her for a little bit? You know what? It might be something you really like. You might be good at. Yep. Uh, I mean, oh, you're great at photography, man. I just happen to know the dude that does that. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Well, there's enough room for everyone to eat here, you know. I mean, in, in powerlifting in general, um, yep. Yep. you know, I mean, you're drug free, you like to live cool, come on over, we got you. Yep. You know yep. I mean, oh, you're on, oh, you're untested. I mean, you can't really lift here, but you coach, <laughs> cool, <laughs> exactly. You got yeah. lifters, bring them on over, they drug free, come on over, we got yeah. you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, you are, you know what? We're not gonna judge you. Oh, I don't care what you do, what you do just don't compete you can't compete yeah. Yeah. but you can you know what i mean like you're welcome to come you know like i you know like it's just one of those things where we've made this we've made this sport so whack we're trying to make it so official and all this stuff like we forget like hey man <laughs> i don't have to be a member of pa i don't have to be a member of uspa usapl apf nypd i don't have to be a member of anywhere yeah. i'm still gonna lift dog yeah I don't care what acronym, you know, is in front of the feds and I'm part of, I'm still going to lift with or without, you know, somebody telling me squat, bench, press. I don't, I'm still going to yeah. do it. You yeah. know what I mean? I just happen to want to get it on wax. I want it to be official. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean, like, it's cool to be strong. But what's the point of getting strong if I can't bust somebody's head with it? Like, all right, let me go bust <laughs> this dude's head with it. See if I'm strong. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't. And again, I'm not knocking anybody because some people, this is really just life for them. That's what's up. Yeah. And I, you know what? I salute that's you awesome. for it. Yep, exactly. But as for me and mine, the people on my side, this is, this is a, you know, my life is a, is a, is a an awesome chocolate Sunday. And I like to consider powerlifting kind of like the cherry on top. Like, you know what? I get the powerlift at the end of the day. Let's get it. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't want <laughs> I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat the same thing every single day, all day. Like, bro, you can you can only eat so many steaks. Where you're like, hey man, I'm kind of tired of eating a steak. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, you know, let me switch it up. You know, I just, you know, I love powerlifting, but I mean, it's not something I want to do all day, every day. You yeah, know? yeah. For those people that can, I applaud you. That's what's up. You know, but you know, I like we talked about off air. Like, you know, if it's one of those things where tomorrow's taken away from me, I want to be able to be like, dang man, that was an awesome part of my life. All right, well, so what else am I doing now? Yeah, you know, um. And so I just, you know, maybe, you know, want to remind people like, hey, man, this this can be taken away from you at any given moment, man. So try to enjoy it more than, you know, you know, more than anything. Like, enjoy this, man. Enjoy the people that you get to lift with. Enjoy the, the sessions that you have. Enjoy those. Enjoy those sessions that suck. You know what yeah. I mean? Because, like, I know the day's going to come. Dude, my dad will tell me all the time, like, man, I, I miss I miss not being able to lift something. And I was like, I can't lift anything now. because I miss being mad because I can't bench 400 pounds. Mm -hmm. You know, like. I know the day's going to come when I'm not going to be able to do this stuff, man. So I'm enjoying every single bit of it. And I can be 100 with you, man to man. I've never not enjoyed every single bit of this. The yeah. only thing I just didn't like, I know, it's not the lifting I like. It's just some of the people that are just trashed or whack. Yeah. They, they make it not fun. Yeah. But then I get mad at myself. Like, why am I letting, you know, him or her, you know, determine how much fun I have in this thing? Like, oh, man, who am I? Yeah, exactly. I'm a joke for letting this dude like get under my skin or letting this person decide whether or not I'm gonna have fun in this. Like that makes no sense. So yeah. I don't know, man. Somewhere between then and now, I was like, you know what, man, this has got to be about fun. 
This has got to be about growing the sport. This has to be about making sure that this is an awesome, safe space for people to come and enjoy themselves instead of like trying to make it some battleground because this is not a battleground. No. You know what I mean? Like there's, it's there's nobody. It's exactly. And you can build a community. Yeah. It's easy to build a community, but you got to decide if you're going to build this community with love or not. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way I look at communities are either built with love or they're not one of the two, you know, I mean, and as far as I, as far as I know, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I've seen, this community is, is so much love in this community. Good Lord. You know, and, and for those that, that choose to, to do the latter and, and not, you know, not come to the community with love, I don't feel like they last that long. Definitely. They Definitely. don't really last long. You know what I mean? And, and, and I, my opinion, they should. Yeah, I mean, don't don't come, don't don't come to the party with a bowl of piss and you know tell me it's Gatorade, dog. Like you're trash. Yeah. Get out of here. Like let's have fun. Let's have as much fun as we can. Let's try to get these you know as many of these young cats in here. I have a great time. Let's grow the sport as much as we can. You know, let's make sure that our people that have been lifting for years and years. Let's make sure that they feel appreciated and and remembered and and you know and and seen. You know, let's make sure that our masters lifters and our super master lifters and our, you know, our, you know, our juniors and sub juniors, let's make sure they, they, you know, you know, you're just as important as he's open. You know what mm-hmm, I mean? Like mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. may not pull as much as Mikey. Mm-hmm. You may not, you know, you know, you may not deadlift as much as, you know, uh, as Amanda, you may not squat as much as Bonica. You may not, you know, you may not be able to, to have a, a, a dots like Taylor, but you yeah. know what? You're still important, man. We still appreciate you. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you know what? I know how hard it is, you know, to to be 40, 40 year old plus and try to get up after having a long day. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go try to train. Yeah. You know I mean, let alone being 60, 70. You know, what I mean, like that's, yeah. you know, yeah, we know just had have, Shelly. We just had Shelly on. She's 72. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Like I know I do. I can't imagine what it's like being in high school or, 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 you know, middle school to high school and having school all day long having athletics all day long, then come home like, all right, now I got to do a powerlifting workout. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's not even, it's not even a training session. It's just a powerlifting workout. We haven't even gotten a training season yet. You know? And then like, you know, I'm in the middle of, of my high school powerlifting season. And now I'm trying to get ready for high school, high school NASA. I know that's not easy for those cats. You know what I mean? So for them, for, for you guys to figure out, a way to figure out a way to get them to shine that you do, like, man, that's huge, man. Like, honestly, dude, I think, that makes me more happy. And that, I, I came in front. I love seeing our open people get it. Oh, my yeah. God. I love seeing them demolish people. Like, ah, we got another one. Yeah. What's, like, you can't see us, USA. Like, I love it. Yeah. But, man, there's something about seeing, like, these little high school dudes get the little shine. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, uh, seeing our juniors get the shine. I love when you, when you post Anthony. I'm like, yo, let's go. I get yeah. hyped every time. Like, you know. Mike got a slight edge. He's got a slight edge on him right now. It's my, yeah, yeah. my favorite 105. But yeah. Anthony's right there, man. He's, God, I love watching that dude live. Yeah, he's awesome. He's a good kid, too, man. Such a good dude, man. And, and you know, I love, you know, I love seeing, like, how you post our masters and, like, you know, like, because I'm telling you, man, like, you know, half of them aren't even on social. But those that are on social, man, I know it feels so good to see their, like, their likeness up there. Like, you know what? I appreciate it. Because I've talked to them. They, they, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I love that. I love posting like Taylor Atwood and then posting like a, a yeah. sub junior and then posting yeah. like a master, and they're all on the same platform. They're all absolutely like, and I, and I think that's the part people have to understand. You know, as a a junior sub junior, you know, as a sub junior, you know what you're 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 gonna end up being a junior. Mm-hmm. To that junior, there's gonna come a time where you're gonna be at your peak strength and you're gonna have your opportunity to ha- have a shot at that open. Yep. But here's the thing. There's a nine time out of 10 chance you probably won't be able to do what a lot of these open people do. Which is going to end up, if you end up staying in it long enough, you know what? You're going to have a life, you're going to have family, you're going to do all that stuff. And you know what? The next thing you're going to turn around, you're going to be a master's. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you're going to look back like, all right, you know, I'm glad I chased all that junior stuff. But now I'm going to take all this time as a master's and enjoy every single lift that I have. Mm-hmm. You know, and to that master's, you're going to look back and you're going to see that open like, man, I can remember that. I can remember being an open dude. I can I can still remember like I can remember walking. I'm like, ah, oh, this is crazy. You know, and looking at the masters, it's like, man, I wonder why they lift. I mean, did, I mean, do they even have any motivation to lift? Like, what's what's masters anyway? I remember thinking this ball straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I started at 32, 33. Yeah. 
like, man, I don't even, like, what would it be like being a master or something? That doesn't even look fun. <laughs> Until I saw David Ricks, I'm like, what? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and I saw Anthony Harris out here murdering people. I'm like, what? He's in his 50s and he's doing these boys. What? You know, and it's mm, cool. And thinking to myself, like, man, I wonder what it would have been like had I lived it as, a, as like a junior. You know what I mean, but I was I had NFL dreams, right? I didn't know anything about powerlifting. So it was one of those things where, you know, you see every little walk of life, man. I mean, doctors, yeah. lawyers, we have all kinds of people, that, you know, lifting yeah. in. And you guys somehow, you manage to find a way to show everybody love. You know what I mean? And I don't feel like anyone's ever left out, you know. Um, and I think that's always been, for me at least, that's always, it's always felt a little special because I feel like, oh, I'm a part of this fed. Yeah. I'm a part of a fed that shows everybody love. Like no one's bigger than the other person. You know what I mean? When, you know, our people at Sheffield, they got their shine. They got a mighty, mighty shine. And that was, that was dope. I mean, as they should, you, you've earned that. But then our high school nationals people, they, they got the back door. They came right after them. Like, you know what? Yeah. Dude? yeah. <laughs> Tell me like, Hey, that's, that. you thought that Sheffield was nice. Wait till you see these high school national kids. Like this is our yeah. future. And yeah. so for the future to feel like they, you know, they're, they're on the same platform. They, they get seen by the same eyes as the Sheffield people. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there's, there's tons of kids that look up to the, to, to Jesus, to, to, you know, to Mikey, yeah. to Gavin, you know, <laughs> to Jonathan, like, you know, to yeah, Amanda, yeah. to Benika, they look up to these people, man. And then they're watching them use this as inspiration. Like, you know what, man, I can't wait for my meet, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. And then they get to go and show off and then they get posted. Like, dude, that was heavy, man. I appreciate it, man. That I was mean, heavy. we're, we're always trying to do better though. I mean, there, yeah. there probably are people that feel like they've been left out or, or, you know, there's, we haven't covered some teams as much as others. And so yeah, man. we're just, we're, we're always trying to get better as well. Yeah, you know, man. just like that's, that's kind of the mantra of powerlifting is just sort of like, yeah, get your, do the work and then try to just get better. Just, just constantly push and push and push and just try to improve yeah, that it, little tiny bit. If yeah. we can, if we can just, you know, go 1% heavier, you know, it's, it's yeah, amazing. I mean, and here's the thing for those that are listening, for those that are going to be watching all that stuff, man, that I can tell you from personal experience, man, if if it's within, I mean, I can, you know, I can speak from personal, if it's within his power, if it's within the, the, the media team's power, if there's somebody that you feel like, you know what, man, hey, have you guys checked this person out? They're really good. They're such a, a credit to the powerlifting, yada, 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 you know, and you reach out, you know, write them like, hey, there's a guy that really, really good. He's a power of America. He just did this meet. Here's his stuff, you know, check him out. You know, it's, it's as simple as sending a DM. I mean, yep. Yep. all that's going to end up happening is, Hey, you know, but we'll check him out, you know, and if they can, and, you know, if they can put them on, they'll put them on. It's, it's literally that simple. And yep. I'm not saying just like, Hey, there's a guy that he just spotted me. I'm not trying to turn to the King of the lifts. That's why the reason why King of the lifts is King of the lifts. Yep. But you know, if we have some people, you know, with, within our, you know, you know, within our membership that is just, just doing awesome stuff. It's yeah. as simple as it's letting the media team know. I mean, cause here's the thing, yeah. man, like you're not, you're not going to come with a bad idea. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm like, ah, that's stupid. You're never going to get told what you said is stupid. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, if it's something that, you know, that's it's super interesting that they, you know, that, that, you know, that they feel that, that the people want to see, yeah. next thing you know, it's going to be up. Yeah, it's yeah, that simple, you know what I mean? Yeah. And if it's something, you know, I mean, here's the thing I can say again, you know, and I can't speak for because you know, Paul's never gonna say no. I, I'll say no for Paul. They have so many projects going on. So I, I can say that they have a lot of projects that are that they constantly have going on. So I mean, you know, sometimes your suggestion might just be fall during a project. So you know, yeah. it, it it'll be read, it may not be able to get posted, but I mean, there's that's just a lot of stuff that, that goes on behind the scenes. Um but, you know, there's a lot of, we have so many good people, you know, and we continue to keep growing and getting more good Absolutely. people. Yeah. And as we keep growing and getting good people, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just going to be like that. But again, as part, you know, of the African committee, that's something I can tell you, like, hey, if you feel like there's somebody out there that you really want to get highlighted, it's as simple as writing, like, hey, man, what would you guys yep. think about this guy? I mean, the one thing I can tell you about Paul and the people in the media team, they will have a dialogue with you. Oh, yeah. I can tell you that. from They will have a dialogue with you. And, you know, I mean, they may not tell you an immediate no. They might not tell you an immediate less, yes, but at least you'll have a, be able to have a dialogue and you're going to get your why. 
And I can say from personal experience, a lot of times I just like to know why. It doesn't even I mean you're gonna tell me no, that's cool, but why? Okay, that makes complete sense to me. You know what I mean? And I've never I've never had a conversation with you, Paul, that I didn't get a why. Absolutely, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's I, you know, I think that's the most respectful thing that a person can do is you're gonna tell me yes or no, but you know, can you tell me why? Maybe, you know, maybe there's something I didn't think of, yeah, you know, yeah. and as long yeah. as I've known you, as long as I've had conversations with you, I've always got my why to whatever answer, you know what I mean? And, you know, you're, you're probably one of the most consistent people with that. You always say, you know, yes or no, but you always give the why because, you know, yeah. and I don't, I, I have to, I have to, I definitely have to give you hats off for that. Cause that's a, that's a very rare thing, man. People talk, tend to not give it, a why. Yeah. I mean, the only limit right now is just the number of hours in the day. Honestly, Absolutely. you know, and Absolutely. like you said, like, like, you know, trying to have some balance in life where, you know, I can walk away from my phone for, for an hour, you know, and stuff like that. But yeah, that's but, it's an I mean, hour. That's, Good that's the only, that's the only limit. And and yeah. I'm telling you, we're solving that problem right now. Cause we got people raising their hand that want to help and work on the team and stuff. That's and so awesome. We're going to eventually be everywhere at all times. <laughs> and, there, and that's, yeah, you know, man, the sun will never set on our, on our social media team here. Yeah, Rope man. Team, so it would be it, honestly, man, it would be so dope to almost have, you know, in each one of our regions have like a social media representative in each region yeah, or yeah. two, Like, all right, yeah. you know what? You guys are in the Southwest team. Okay. We have meets and so, 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 and so, and so, and so, yeah. Can you guys get there? Okay. You can't, well, I need to find, you know, I need you guys to find me two or three people, you know, at each yeah. of these spots to send us footage from each one of these meets. You know what I mean? Like yep, something, yep. you know, um, and again, and again, that might be something that, you know, that, that, that the committee gets with you on and like, Hey yeah. man, so what's something we can do for you to help, you know? And again, oh, that's yeah. something that we're trying to do is like, we're trying to, you know, be bridge that gap because again, you guys can't do it on your own. You've done it on your own for so long. Like it's about time you start getting some help. So that's yeah, what yeah. we're here for. But anyway, but that's 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 on me to build a team and um, we're Absolutely. doing it. We're doing it. So but um, listen, I know you said you wanted to bounce out of here right, right by now. Um, I know you got plans good, and I know you good. got a deadlift and stuff, but I, I would be it would be a, a travesty if I don't at least ask you of like what you're packing for Scottsdale here in uh two weeks. Well, we're two weeks out. Like we didn't even get through anything. We'll, dude, we'll have to I haven't even I ain't gonna lie to you. I haven't even thought about it i haven't even wow. thought about it i haven't bought a ticket um i just know when i'm gonna come in yeah. like because i hadn't decided if i'm gonna drive or fly i want to mm -hmm. drive because i mean afterwards i want to i, I want to trail ride so like okay. do i want to bring my bikes and stuff and and you know try to trail gotcha. ride but i took a stupid spill on my bike last week so it's all it's all my well my full suspension is thrashed so I might end up having to change the wheels out on my hardtail and, and just ride. I don't know if I yeah. do that. I'm not that crazy, but um, can you just rent a bike out there or something? And when they go to these, I places, think like, do, but here's the thing like about being, well, here's the thing, man, about being, you know, you can be a shorter person, but for the most part, you can be most people, my height are like 150, 160. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't be over 220 pounds you know, riding these, you know, the medium frame bikes, because you're going to snap it, or you're going to bend like, that's what I ended up doing with my, with my other one. So, you know, wow. it's, yeah, it's just, you know, do you ride, if you ride hard, you know, you, eventually you're going to, you know, you're going to find a trail that's just like, you know, these rocks, these rocks in this frame there, it's not going to work. So, you know, um, I don't know, man, I, I looked into it, you know, but then it's, it's still something about having your own, you know, having yeah, your own course. bike. It fits you like know? a glove and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and this thing, I you know, I, I'm having a new fork put on it. I just got my new tie, man. I don't know. I mean, I again, if if you know, I mean, I'll, I'll know at the end of this week. I mean, I'm gonna go have a good time. Um, really, I, I I my goal is just make sure I qualify for him in APF, you know, and so. Oh, for NAPF. So yeah. you're not gonna, you don't want to go to Mongolia. Man, I'm trying to go to everywhere. What are you talking about? Okay, yeah. so so you want to qualify for Worlds and NAPS? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm going to do this. You know, like I said, if I don't, who will? You know, um, yeah, yeah. That the yeah the goal the goal is to really make sure we you know get that qualification for NAPF. Um, you know, I don't know that we're going to press the gas that much. I know that. Um, I don't think I'm going to go super 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 hard. Um, I ended up getting in a lot of pain. I mean, yeah. you were there last um, year. I was in a lot of pain for my last few meets. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to play it a little bit more, a little bit more smart. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. 
the it's so weird because like now every you know a lot of used to be open guys are ma- masters guys now so now like those master qualifications starting to do this and this and this so yeah of course you know, the masters you get, numbers are going up yeah master numbers are going through the roof so i mean that being said like you got to be you have to be a little more strategic you know we can't just like go in like oh right, let's just press the gas so this time around you're gonna see you know a bit more strategy to it um you know i mean i might not even squat over seven i mean i'm not even sure yet i mean yeah, i yeah. you know um but we're looking let's to do press what- you got to do what's best. For, yeah, man. Thinking about, you know, thinking about that you have two more meets than. Yeah, you I, mean, I, I mean, again, you know, you got Mongolia. God's blessings and nothing happens, you know, when I stay healthy, I would love to say that I I want to be able to have, you know, two more meets after after nationals, you know. So, mm-hmm. I mean, that's been, a, a you know, a, a, a big, a big thing is just making sure that we stay healthy and, and everything. So, you know, obviously, you know, coaches are making sure that I'm right with that and, you know, and just being smart with the nutrition, man. Cause you know, with all the, with all the riding that I'm doing now, I have to eat so much more, you know? Mm-hmm. So when I wasn't riding, it was easy. Like, all right, I'm just going to diet down, cut down and I'm done. But with mm-hmm. the riding, I'm like, man, I can't cut as fast, mm-hmm. which sucks. You know what I mean? Cause I have to hold on to the weight. Like I'm 10 pounds heavier than I was going into nationals last year, this time out. Like I'm okay. literally 10 full pounds. Um, but it's like, I need all of that. <laughs> I need all of that when I'm riding, man. Like, Mm-hmm. I'm like every 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 ride that I go on, I'm down 15 pounds. Like when I come back home, okay. So yeah, you know what I mean. And so I just you know you're burning, God knows how much anywhere from 1,200 to to 3,000 calories just riding and trail riding and stuff. So and you know shoulders are all beat up and all that stuff after you ride. So it's like it's it's like eating eating around the trail riding, which I'm I'm just falling in love with, and you know. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's actually helped my lifting a lot, which is nuts. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, I just, you know, we're going to go in, honestly, dude, the, at the very least, you're probably going to see me laugh a lot more. Oh yeah. This, we're you're going in, we're going in just to, you know, have a great time. And obviously we have the, you know, the, the EC meeting afterwards. Mm-hmm. No, I'm, I'm, I'm really stoked to, you know, uh, to really get like a solid constitution now for everybody and, and, and really just have, you know, just really get this thing as official as we can and, you know, start really focusing on, you know, you get that, you get that constitution nailed out of the way. Everyone likes what we're doing. Bam. Now let's really focus on the growth of this fed. We're already yeah. growing, but you know, like yeah. we, I really feel like the the sky's the limit. So, you know, really getting that going and, and, you know, and we're looking at, you know, getting some projects going as far as like, you know, um, just making this thing, making this thing, you know, live up to its full potential you know, Absolutely. and really Level trying up. to meet you. Yeah, man, we got to keep leveling up. And I mean, we're doing a great job of it, but I mean, as the membership grows, obviously, you know, I feel like it, it creates new opportunities in terms of taking a, taking a lot of the weight off of a lot of y'all shoulders that have been shouldering three and four, five and six jobs. Um, mm-hmm. You know, when we have, a, you know, we, when we're fully staffed, everyone, you know, it can pull their own weight in their own specific area of expertise. And we really start, you know, really growing this thing. Yeah. Um, start cooking with gas. Hell yeah. I mean, we're working. That's the yeah. thing, man. For, for those that are watching, for those that are listening, that's one thing I can tell you straight up, man. Like these people are working, you know, and it's, it's, if you actually spoke to the names to what they're doing, you would have to say Paul's name four times. You'd have to say, you know, Mike Z's mm-hmm. name six or seven times, Robert's name three or four times, Marion's name, Marion, and you know, and Rodney's name four or five times because people are doing four or five different jobs. Yeah. Um, I can tell you the fact that we're moving as quickly as we're moving with these, with everyone doing, you know, wearing four or five different hats is crazy. When yeah. we are, when we start, when we get to that point where like each person is wearing their own hat, whew, it's going to be scary. Yeah. So you know, just keep adding members, you know what I mean? Keep showing each other love, keep having fun, man. I think, I think, I think the next three or four years is going to be something, I think it's going to be something special, you know? So, you know, I think everyone, everyone in this game, everyone in the EC, everyone that that's involved right now, they're, everyone's rolling on a, a a very selfless, they're very selfless about how they're, how they're moving. So I hope it just continues that, man. I really do. For sure, man. It will. We got good people, and um, and the community behind us is strong as well. You know, oh, absolutely. The, the lifting absolutely. community. They, you know, they're uh, raising their hand to do things and take some load off the shoulders of of the people that you're talking about and whatnot. And so, with that community behind us, so the sky's the limit. So absolutely, absolutely. You know, I just, you know, I don't know. But so, yeah, 
So as far as your lifting though, I mean, we had, po- we had, uh, Panama poppy last year. So yeah, we man. got, we got Cayman islands poppy this year and yeah, man. Mongolia as well. Yeah, huh? dude. I, yeah, yeah. I don't, man, I don't even, Mongolia is be stupid, man. I'm excited about that. So you want to go there. Cause a lot of, some masters are talking like, you know, it's a long ways and, and it's not like on their bucket list of places to go. It's all my go. It, yeah, man. I mean, I love history. It looks amazing. I love history. Yeah. I mean, Genghis Khan, come on now. Like, how do you? Yeah. I, yeah. I, um, I'll go anywhere. I'll, I'll go. I'll travel. Oh, that's facts. Yeah. Until I've been everywhere, I'm, I'm you know. Yeah. I'm, until I'm I've been everywhere, go. I've been nowhere. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So, way. like, I, you know, that passport, my first passport, I ran out of room. I'm trying to do the, sec- the same thing with the second one, man. I want to run, as, run out of room with stamps. So, yeah. um, I definitely want to go to Mongolia. Cayman's gonna be cold, man. I don't think people understand how dope that's gonna be. Um, Dude, you, Ray, Mike T, just yeah, accepted man. on the open team. Yeah, I mean, Cayman Islands gonna be like. I, mean, I don't even. Else. I don't. I don't. Man, here's the thing, dude. I don't know who's all accepted uh, for the men yet. I mean, I think some are still waiting. Yeah. Um, I'm like, if they, I just, oh man, dude. Ugh. Well, I just I was, I was oh, man. If the listen, if you're listening, if you're watching this, you're not going to accept men's open. Yeah. Hurry up and let them know. I think they all, I think they all notified uh Rodney. Like, yeah, I think the deadline was like yesterday or the day before. Okay. He was asking me to um reach out to a handful of people here and there. But but yeah, he he did a good job. He's got it. I'm gonna open it up right now and see what we have on the uh on the men's side. And I'll let you know here. Okay. Oh, what, what kind of nominations we got here let's see it's up here I, I know he's pretty good at getting stuff up on the site pretty quick oh he's already got him up. oh yeah yeah i didn't even think we oh that. actually no we don't so the only yeah, ones we have for classic um on the open side is just jonathan garcia his only name on here so far so oh man but i know i i know mike t yesterday posted that he accepted yeah mike he accepted i know uh, i know ray has accepted a spot yeah, ray's as well. accepted um, can you think about this like remember last year i was i was like so hyped about napf the north american regional championships this mm-hmm. is our version of euros which is like a huge thing in the mm-hmm. world of powerlifting euros is huge north americans is like nobody knows what it is yeah and um we tried to hype it up last year to an extent you know we did what we could but um having you show up at that meet I mean, was massive. Um, it like people were like, "Is is this really the LS maker?" Like they were asking me before you even got there. That's crazy. Because you know, I was there a few days before and stuff, and they're like, "Is this really the LS, the LS McLean, the two time world champion?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's him. He's coming. He's coming." To, you know, and um, it was a really big deal for you to be there. And then now, just think like a year later, the yeah, we yeah, we, I mean, we we're sitting at dinner talking about man, we gotta get we yeah. gotta get some more people here. Like people are going to lose their minds when Ray walks out. Oh, they're gonna lose crazy. their minds. Like and you saw I, how crazy the crowds are. Oh my god, they're going to lose their minds. Man, I I can tell you right now, I'm gonna cry. I will cry. Yeah, because I feel like that's that that gives Ray enough time to train, to heal up, to really, you know, to you know, to to give himself a chance to really, you know, just get back, you know, kind of get back in his zone, you know. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like, you know, I said as soon as he cracks that first thousand pound squad again i'm gonna lose it i will i'm going to lose my mind um to see mike i like to have a chance to watch him i won't be calling numbers against him like you know that's gonna be great yeah um i you know you know if, if do i don't i mean i don't know is is deuce gonna go i don't know um, it's a maybe he's an alternate for the open team uh going to malta but yeah uh, he probably he yeah. might come to this it's kind of fits into the season i mean He's gonna be starting a little bit training camps. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he, if he. I know he has a training camp. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, um, you know, with with all the new stuff going on with the Raiders, like I don't even know. Like you know, so yeah. Um, but we got. I don't know. If, you know, win- Justin is. I mean, he, he's not. He 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 told me he's not. Um, so if Justin yeah. doesn't. So if Justin doesn't. Bryce, go, Bryce is also not going. Like, yeah. According according so, to his recent. Post. Yeah. Um. So if Justin doesn't go, Bryce doesn't go. Yeah. I mean, like, you're going to be open lifter. Nah, I'm thinking about my man, Jonathan. Oh, oh, April. 
Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he's, yeah. He, he, he's next up. He Because, I mean, we already have, if I'm not mistaken, we already have two 120s going, correct? Uh, yeah, because Tristan, Tristan's going too. Yeah, Tristan, the, Tristan the, and Mike, 120 national champion. Yep. So, so Lugo would be next up after him, but we've already have two 120s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so right. then the next up would be Jonathan. Yeah, yeah, Jonathan. So, Andrew. and I'm gonna tell you right now, I will. If they nominate me open, and me going open means that Jonathan doesn't get to go, I'm gonna take master so Jonathan can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be tell you straight up. I mean, and I'm not saying that's gonna happen the way. It, I mean, that's kind of how it happened last year. But if I have the opportunity to go as a Masters or Open and Jonathan has an opportunity to go, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to take the Masters spot so that Jonathan can go. Because I be think, awesome, God, man. And I'm just looking at these nominations on the women's side. We got Megan Hurlbert. We got Julia Williams, Michelle Robbins. Claire Zai is already accepted and is in here. Oh, loaded. And, and then, you know, our friend, Christine Castro, she's in here too. Oh, from Canada. So Canada is bringing shooters for sure. I mean, I, I oh, I'm man. pretty sure she. I th- I wanted to say I thought she was going to Worlds. I also heard Bryce Krawcheck is coming this year to North Americans. Oh, I hope he because, does because because you know yeah, he, didn't, he, he didn't he make didn't make team. Yeah, yeah. If if Canada, I, I'm this is one thing I know. If when Canada comes, it's so fun. Oh yeah, it's always fun. But yeah. like when Canada comes, I feel like it makes like the family's complete. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like we have awesome. everybody there. Um, there's been a couple that I've gone to that Canada didn't show up, and you know, because they, you know, they sent all their people to to worlds, and that was cool. But mm-hmm. the times that that Canada's been there, it's been so fun. I love when like the whole family's together, man. So yeah, um, yeah man. I it's I oh man, like you know, I just that would be so awesome, man. I mean, it would be yep. It would be one of those things like that would probably be the one that like why is LS always crying? Like, uh, because uh-huh. I mean, I mean, because like for at least for me, you know, I I brag on Jonathan a little bit. Like, I mean, I got Jonathan like when he was, I think maybe had a 14, 1500 total, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. this kid has worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked, man, you know, and you know, to to work so hard to to a point where like you get second to Ray Williams, that's nothing to shake a stick at, mm-hmm. you know. Um you know, and it's everyone's goal, you know, especially if you're in power with America, your goal, you know, at least in the back here is I want to get to worlds. I want to get mm-hmm. to the international stage somehow, you know, and so for him to, to even be remotely close to have an opportunity to compete on the international stage, you know, you know, alongside Ray. Yeah. Get that team bro. USA singlet, man. Man, yeah. the people don't understand, bro. It's, it's, it's a different feel, you know? So yeah, yeah, I just, I really want that for him. You know what I mean? Um, You know, short of texting everybody hey man are you going are you going are you going like i'm just praying yeah. and having my fingers crossed that i mean if you know i want everyone that's able to go to go but if they can't go hurry up let Roddy know if you can go or not yeah. um you know what i mean because we're just one spot away from jonathan getting that invite bro and if he gets it that sounds invite, like he's going sounds like he's going to um the other thing i was going to say is i i, I don't see rice crotchek on the nominations from canada but eric willis is on there oh and um so that'll be a fun that one those 120s are going to have a, a fun you have a nice little time yeah man yeah and then like, um some of the same names that we saw like calf is going to be there um you know he's a badass yeah. 83 so and we know some of the other teams that showed up and showed out last year i mean yeah man it, we we got our we got our lunch money taken last year at this meet um like we got we got beat pretty bad by you know yeah. canada by um dominican republic yeah I think dude. dr came they came ready this yeah. that's that's yeah. a team i'm telling you right now you give them a few more napfs um yeah. and they're gonna be ready for the world stage soon soon and very soon yeah um the one thing that you know that i was looking forward to but it ended up just not working out uh i was looking forward to possibly seeing uh haiti get a shot at, at at coming i know that, that at one point they were looking at because honestly that jonathan's haitian he's half haitian okay. um and so he uh i no, he's full haitian what am i saying um uh-huh. but yeah so so jonathan's also haitian he's a dual citizen um so at, in the beginning his international journey was actually going to begin through haiti but obviously okay. with all the political unrest and all the stuff that was going on there yeah uh you know he's like well i'm just i'm just gonna stay in the, in the united states just make sure that you know obviously that you're safe uh so to just you know just, to see him, you know, just 
the growth and in, in, in the you know the, the yeah. ability the growth and ability in 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 strength that he's had over the last two or three years has just been astronomical. So you know, and to know that he was that close to having a chance to go with Haiti, and then obviously having that taken away from him the way it was, that kind of sucked. But to like for rather than crying over spilt milk, he was like, all right, you know what? Let's you know we can only control what we can control. So mm-hmm. you know, obviously I'm going to enter PA. I'm going to do a PA meet had a blast like, hey you know i think i want to do this nationals all right cool oh crap i gotta go and spray like yeah man it is what it is like hey just do yeah. your best you know he did his best pr went over a thousand total i he's mean so a two thousand total he's so strong and he's just scratching the surface so you know and like and our goal has been just in case you know me bro i you know i just you know i just wanted him to be ready just in case you know so we you know all the training that we've been doing like he didn't he had he hasn't had an off season yeah. Like, you know, he's, he just keep doing one of these kind of keep him ready just in case. Um, and so we're in one of these right now. He's eating right now. Um, and we're going to drop it a little bit. And if he gets that invite, then we're going to go right back up, peak him, have him ready for August. Um, yeah, man. I, yeah. I purposely just kind of scheduled that just in case, you know, I, I have faith that he might get that invite. If he ends up getting the invite, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to lose my mind. That would um, be so fun, man. you got to get him on this thing, dude. Yeah, yeah, his his story is unreal. oh yeah, we definitely yeah in the lead up to the NAPF we'll be we'll be heavily focused. We'll try to get everyone on from NAPF. Yeah, man. I, but I yeah, I I think I mean I think it's gonna be awesome having you know having so many just high profile lifters you know that you know that are starting to you know not necessarily come over but just you know side like hey I'm gonna be a part of Powerlift America. That's cool. Um, mm-hmm. you know. Like at first, I didn't really know. I ain't gonna lie, dude. Like some of the stuff you do, sometimes like I never even thought about that. Like you know, because when some people, some people announce it, you know, like hey, I've decided to take my talents to pilot in America. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what's up. And me, I'm like, okay, and so what? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, okay, there's there's tons of people that are doing that. You know what I mean? Like they don't care. Like they're just you know they want to yeah, come yeah. and lift. But then I'm like, what if you like to actually announced it? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. And then like, I look over and like Paul's got it. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Like Welcome the Celine the Crum. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, All yeah. Right, yeah. That's cool. I mean, it's interesting. Cool. That was actually an idea from our interns because, um, you know, you see, like, when, it, like, on my personal account, my explore page is just full of like football breaking yeah. news. Yeah. And that was exactly, we just took that straight from football breaking that's, news. That's, yeah, we, man. I we never were talking really about, thought it. about it. Yeah. Yeah. I and never really uh, thought about it. You know what I mean? Cause, like, who, who's, who determines who's high profile, whatever, whatever. But I'm like, you yeah. know what? That's actually a good look. I, you know what I mean? And then I was like, oh, I see what you did. Yeah. That's what's up. Cause I'm just like, we're hey, just, cool. I mean, we're my head stealing about, everything from football. That's, I mean, Hey, listen, if you're going to do it, do it for the most value, uh, you know, sports, you know, sports federation going on right now. Cause NFL yeah. is just killing it right now. But well, yeah, I, go ahead. We're, we're, we're talking about Jonathan April being from Haiti. And, um, you know, this is the, this is the place where we can have these conversations. Like you mm-hmm. and I were sitting with Laura from, from the DR last year mm-hmm. and talking about and just brainstorming and networking and stuff. And maybe someone there knows someone who is, you know, in charge of the Haitian Federation or yeah. whatever. And maybe Jonathan can have some way of giving back or bringing a spotlight right. to them so that they can get some funny and then get to this competition yeah. next year, you know? So yeah, this is so- where we talk and, and make things happen. Yeah, man, I, I think that's the, the biggest thing is just, you know, like we had said earlier in the thing, like a rising ship's going to raise, you know, raising tides going to raise all ships. So, you know, if if one's doing well, then we all do well. You yeah. know, same thing. If one's doing bad, then we're all doing bad. You know, I know yeah. that, you know, yeah. Haiti, they, they, you know, there's so many great people in Haiti. Yeah. Um. You know, and and it's speaking just as as a, as a black man, period, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Haiti. Um, many free, you know, uh, black people that, you know, that that are descendants of, from free slaves, we wouldn't be here had it not been for, for, for the Haitian immigrants being the first to actually revolt, you know? Yep. And a lot of people don't know that part of history. Yep. Um, you know, and, you know, to see, you know, to see, you know, where where their 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 nation is right now, the 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 state that it's in right now, the way it, you know it's been over the last few years, man, like that's that's hard, man. That, that's that's you know, um, you know, and there's so many. Dude, there was a there was a point, my my last meet that I hosted actually, uh, 
So obviously Jonathan's Haitian, he's lifting. My buddy Reggie, he <laughs> he flew in, um, he flew in from Fort Lauderdale to call the meet. Okay. To Tampa rather. He flew in from Tampa to call the meet. So he was my he was my Gino. And he's mm-hmm. he's uh he's half Haitian in Jamaican. And he kept joking, he's like, bro, this is the most Haitian's ever been in a room. I'm like, yeah, I think so. It's in Texas for sure. Yeah. Um it's just, it's just crazy that, I mean, there's so many, I've yet ever to, at this point in my life, I've yet to meet a Haitian person or a person Haitian descent that I just didn't absolutely adore. Yeah. Amazing people, amazing culture. Um, and to see them like, you know, just with their power of the federation, you know, and, you know, and their, their government in, in general, just kind of in the state that it is, man, that, that's, it's saddening, you know, and, you know, there's so many talented, strong people that won't get that opportunity that we have, like to go to NAPF, to go to Worlds, to, exactly. you know, to to be afforded that opportunity, man. So again, you know, the fact that, you know, we are in a, such a welcoming federation that, you know, you know, we know that you, you know, you come from Haiti. We know that, you know, you were planning on trying to go um, and you don't have the avenue. Well, you know, we're going to provide you with an avenue to go. Yeah. Um, that first nationals that we had when we had the, uh, you know, people from J- Jamaica that came and they yeah. lifted as guest lifters, you know, the fact that we're able to provide, you know, an additional avenue for people to compete, um, you know, on a, you know, on an official IPF, you know, in an official IPF st- a setting like that. It's the little things like that, man, that, that you know, Absolutely. make you proud of being a part of something. You know what I'm oh, saying? Dude, dude, I could not agree with you more. I, um, that seeing the Jamaican lifters at our first nationals in Austin, um, and then seeing them again at the NAPF and then seeing that, like when they came to Austin, they, they brought a bunch of refs with them. They all passed the referee exam yeah. with our technical chairman, Bill Clayton. Clayton yeah. Who's Shout also, out Bill Clayton. The yeah. Man. Bill Clayton. He's the man. And, and, um, and then, you know, he's on the technical uh, committee of the IPF and stuff. So they pass all these refs. Then you see like um, down the road, we see them at NAPF mm-hmm. and they showed out. I mean, they all, they, I think all three of the lifters that they had there all took first place. All did, yeah. Now you're seeing that they're going to Worlds this year. Yep, so exactly. they're going to be in Malta. So it's uh, really cool to see that and just think that like, you know, PA, like, just played, played a, any any type yeah, any of role small part it, yeah you know? know what i mean and, yeah it's I mean, cool but in order for you know i mean it, people have to understand like in order for any fan to, to to really gain the momentum you have to have referees you have to have meets you have to yes. have qualifiers and yeah. you know they're able to do that i mean you know next thing you know they're going to be having their own nationals they're going to be able to you know and oh, yeah. send their own people and you know it's but i mean you have to have a, a starting off point you know and here's the thing it's not like we were so well established beforehand no you know what i mean like it, it you know but it's like all right we're slightly blind. You're blind. We're going to yeah. be the slightly blind, lean the blind. We're going to make sure we figure this out. We're going to get you guys yeah. on your feet because we're trying to get on our feet. You know what? And we're going to meet you guys at the top. Again, there's room yeah. for everyone, you know what I mean? To progress, yeah. to get better, you know, to, to have an opportunity to, to really just have an opportunity to have an opportunity. Yeah. Um, I think that's been so far it, 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 in my journey with PA, that's been the coolest part. It's just seeing how just, there's so much selflessness, man. You know, yeah. I mean, and I'm not, you know, I'm not just saying that to say it, man. I mean, I have yet to have an encounter where, you know, I didn't feel like my presence, you know, was unwanted. I have, I've yet to have an, a, an encounter where I felt like, you know what, we don't care what you, what, what you think. Like I've always felt wanted, you know, I've always felt like I was part of some, I always felt like, you know, people wanted me around. They wanted mm-hmm. my family around. Um, they remembered who I was. Yeah. Um, people were working, you know, to try to make sure everyone felt included. I just, it's not hard, you know, um, it, you guys have done the best job of making people just feel special, feel wanted, feel like they're included, making sure that people feel like they're a part of something. Yeah. Um, you know, and like I said, I, I feel like as long as we can figure out a way to keep, to, to keep that, that gap bridged between between us all i feel like we're gonna keep growing and growing and growing um i ain't gonna lie paul i just want to see you win bro yeah you know and and i want to see i want to see you know i want to see robert win i want to see mike z win i think more than anyone yeah and i'll never i will never tell it to him his face unless i mean he, he sees this i will never tell mike z how much i want him to win i want that dude to win probably more than anybody walking this planet Yep, yep. I feel like he is due the biggest win of anybody in anybody in IPF involvement. 
I really feel that way. Um, yeah, man. I don't know why, hardest, man. I, he's the hardest worker. I mean, that he, dude he's everywhere and he so does everything. Hard. Yep. Dude, he works so hard. Yeah, yeah. I can I can't not remember a time that I I can't remember a time that I haven't necessarily I mean physically I actually look up to the man, but I don't I cannot remember yeah. a time that Mike Z hasn't I he hasn't been around. I'm like, God, that dude is man, he's different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I've never mm-hmm. not I've never not been impressed with Mike Z. Um, you know, and and I've never once heard him say, man, I wish they would do this. I wish they would recognize me for this. Oh, no. He doesn't want the spotlight at all. Yeah. And that that boggles my mind as much as he's done for all the feds he's been involved with. Yeah. Never asked for anything in return. Like, you know what I mean? Like. That's what makes him a good leader. I'm telling you, dude. You know, and and I think I'm an idiot for not recognizing you know, not recognizing the leadership skills early. I just thought he was just, I just thought the world, I just thought the guy was just dope. I just thought he was a cool guy. And then I just started seeing all the extra stuff and I started hearing his name over and over. I'm like, man, what does this dude do? Then I started realizing what doesn't he do? Yeah. Um, you know, and so talking to you about doing like the athlete committee and all that stuff. And, you know, you know, you breaking it down for me, kind of give me the idea. I'm like, man, that'd be cool. But I mean, I don't really know what I can bring to the table. You know, but then, you know, I started thinking like, you know what, Mike Z can do so many different things. He does so many different things. If he doesn't know it, he learns it on the fly. And, you know, and he, he can be, dang near make anything his expertise. You know what, man, I may not be the greatest at this thing right now, but it's not like I can't get better at it. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, I just, man, I, I, I don't know where we would be without Mike Z, you know, and I, you know, I don't. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't, we wouldn't be on this call right now. That's facts, you know? I mean, and I feel like that's one guy that, you know, he will never ask for the spotlight, but he's one of the most, if not the most deserving, deserving person of the spotlight. You know what, man, you know, that dude, he needs his just do. He needs his appreciation. He needs his flowers. Yeah. Um, You know, like, I think I, I give Robert flowers as much as I can. Cause I mean, Robert, yeah. Robert holds it down. <laughs> I yeah, mean, yeah. you say what you want to say about Robert Keller, but you can't, what you cannot say about Robert Keller, he does not get the job done. Robert, he, he may, he'll make it happen somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Robert will make it happen. I, you know, I love him for that. Um, mm-hmm. Mike Z man. I feel like he's just, he's so used to, you know, we're just so used to Mike Z just being in the shadows, kind of doing this dark man thing yeah. that, you know, we, we, He's hiding in plain sight, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, you got to say his name three times in a mirror like Candyman for him to appear. <laughs> when he does, he makes it happen. I mean, Mike Z makes it happen. And he anybody that does. anybody that says Mike Z doesn't make it happen is a straight up hater. That guy is, yep. I mean, there, there's no one like him. You know what I mean? And like I said, I think, you know, I think that's why I gravitate towards you so much because you and Mike Z, y'all are cut from the same cloth. And like, you, doesn't matter what you, what you guys are given, no matter what's thrown in front of you, you're going to try to find out a way to make it happen. Well, yep. I'm not the greatest at videography, but I'm going to figure it out. Yep, yep. You know what? I'm not the biggest social media guru, but you know what? I'm going to figure this thing out. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. you know, but you got to have those type of people if you're going to grow, you know, I mean, you know, Miriam, same thing. I, I don't feel like she and Rodney get there just do, you know what I mean? So, I mean, and I know it might be, you know, you know, my little podcast, man, but I mean, I'd be an idiot if I didn't shout these people out from, from uh, your Amanda Lawrence's to, you know, to your Mikey Davis's <laughs> yeah. to your Rodney's, you know, your Mike Z's. I mean, these are all people that I, I, I genuinely look up to that. I genuinely appreciate. Um, and bro, all, all I do is lift weights and, crack jokes man like i don't know nah, you inspired us man you inspired yeah, I mean, like us. but i mean but it was you know it took a, an anthony harris a david ricks to inspire me yep. you know what i mean like i, I you know we're, we're all a you know we're all a little piece of the people that it's you know what i mean we're all a yeah, little piece of, of people that inspire us yep. you know um but i can tell you right now i would i would not we would not be having this conversation had i not seen anthony harris you know, no, we were in Scranton. Yeah, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Had I not watched Anthony Harris just put on an absolute clinic, I saw him pull 750 like he was like paperweight, you know? Um, and I'm like, dude, that I know he's older. I know he is. And he's just killing it. 
Mm -hmm. Um, I wouldn't be here had I not seen the longevity de demonstrated by David Ricks over and over and over. You know, um, I know, I know that. You know what I mean? Like I, 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 I wouldn't be here had Brad Gillenham not had a you know a conversation with me in my first worlds. You know, like I was in awe of this man. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, I know, I mean, I, I, I know that you know. Everyone's a part of, you know, this little pile of encircle of meaning. It's when you're turning to pick up the torch, you carry it as far as you can. And then as soon as, you know, once your flame starts to flicker out, you pass it to somebody else. You can't hold yep. on to the torch that long. You know what I mean? Yep. And, yep. you know, I've, I've, I've been super, super lucky, man. Like, you know, I've been able to pass the torch on and then somebody come and give it back to me. I'm able to run with it a little bit long and pass it to somebody else. I mean, I've, not a lot of lifters are able to do that. Have been able, yeah. you know, I can I can say I've had the torch pass me two or three times, and I don't think I fumbled it. And then you know, but I mean, I've also made sure that I didn't hold on to it too long that it burned my hands. Yeah. Um, I just man, I just want this thing to grow, you know. And and I feel like you know, I speak for all of us. Like we want to be part of something special and keep growing, you know, keep growing it and growing it and growing it. And you know, to be able to look back, that you know, if my little one decides like, hey, I want to power lift, like they'd be like, oh yeah, well. You no, know I'm saying, hey man, remember that one time your daddy did this? Like, no, I was two, but I was I remember. I remember, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I remember Bill Clayton holding me, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, you know, I, I maybe and maybe that's my, you know, I go maybe that's my thing. Maybe that's yeah. that's what it's all about. It's like, you know, maybe my whole point of being a part of this whole thing is like, you know what, to provide a place and a in a space that, you know, that people feel comfortable, like, you know, bringing their families to. Yeah, that, you know, all these ever growing gym babies, you know, but they have a place to go. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, I remember Nash, this last nationals, uh, the last night we had in Orlando, I remember I looked out in the crowd, I'm like, there's so many little kids out here. This is yeah. crazy. It's yeah. like a family atmosphere. Like, how can we, you know, how can we, you know, increase that to the nth degree where people feel like, you know what, it's not just about the lifters, it's about them and their families. It's about, you know, you know, it, it 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 it's cool. Like, hey, you know what, Taylor Atwood, Taylor Atwood just won. Oh, awesome! Hey, look at Taylor and his baby. Look up. You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. that's what it's about. Because now Lane, these lifters, Lane Norton and his daughter. Yeah, like now we're not just the lifters lifting, like just lifting. Like we're lifting and we got our little ones. Yep. You know what I mean? Like we're lifting and then we we want to stand on the podium with our with our loved ones. Like we're lifting and you know we want to have these pictures with with our you know and make core memories with our families you know what i mean yeah. and yeah. you know when i'm in the back lifting you know and you know steph's calling my numbers well who's gonna watch my little one she can't be in the back going crazy well you know what i guess you're gonna be hanging out with, with robert keller i guess i don't know, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? but then but i you know but these families and, and these families and, and these lifters they're, they're comfortable enough that you know we've we've made this small the small knit community into a family yep. and you know Everyone, you know, everyone not necessarily knows everyone, but everyone knows of everyone and everyone's comfortable enough that, you know what, I don't mind bringing my, my kid to this because I, yeah. I feel like it's family friendly. And I feel like, you know, this federation isn't just about the lifters. It isn't just about the money, but it's about everyone contributing. Like, I feel like it's a community. That's per it's a community. It's perfect, yeah. you know, and I, you know, dude, I don't even know. Imagine, you know, imagine how, dude, imagine how cold Atwood's kid's going to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> growing up in this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. imagine, you know, imagine Imagine how, Meg Scanlon's two little twin yeah, girls. Yeah, imagine, right imagine the, the, the Scanlon twins, bro. Yeah. Imagine, imagine them in, you know, in, in six, seven, eight years, you know, in, in 10 years, they're like, they're going to be sub juniors. You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're going to have sub juniors, you know, mom's going to be a Hall of Famer by then. You know what I mean? She's and, still going to be going. Yeah, she's probably going to be yeah. going. And like, mom's going to get her, you know, her her PA Hall of Fame induction. And yeah. at the same, the same meet that our daughters both win. You know what I mean? Like one's going to yeah. have to, you know, one's going to have to go, you know, uh, 57, the other's going to go 60 or whatever, like, yeah, just so yeah. they don't compete against like, it's, yeah. that's, you know, that's in my head. That's what I, you know, I would love to see. I would love to see in, you know, five to 10 years, Amanda Lawrence, so she has little kids running, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But I, I feel like the only way that's going to happen is we have to make sure that people understand that we're here for you, not just as a lifter, but also as a person. Yeah. You know, so what can we do on our end to make sure people understand yeah. we love you? We love your presence. 
we don't just care for you as a lifter. We also care for you as a human being. Yeah. You're part of this family. You're part of this community. We don't want you to go as soon as you're done lifting. We want you to stick around. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you want to host meets, fine. But you know what? How about, you know, we, you know, we have a power lift in America, women's, women's retreat. Amanda, we remember, I remember when you and Bonica both, you know, both killed it at Sheffield back in 2023. Would you guys mind, you know, taking us back through that at this women's retreat? Some, some, yeah. anything. Um, because the only way that we're going to grow is we have to, we have to tap into that future, man. We have to tap into yeah. our future. So, right. um, you well, know, you, I, you've been to the meets. It feels yeah, like a family. It, fe- it like you feels, just, yeah. yeah dude, so it really, we're in a sweet spot right now where it really, really, does. really are. And I just hope we stay in that space, man. I mean, and like I said, whatever I can do, you know, to, to make sure that we maintain that, that continuity within that space. Cause it's a, it's a, it's the perfect spot for us. Yeah. It is the perfect spot for us. Cause I mean, when, when it feels like a family atmosphere, you can have Jamaica come and still feel welcome. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, uh, one of my little lifters, he, you know, he's a, he ended up getting third, you know, uh, in the 74s. As he's a Down syndrome lifter. You know, mm-hmm. he has Downs. Mm-hmm. He's a Special Olympics lifter. Mm-hmm. And he had the time of his life. The crowd was going nuts for him, too. I mean, he was he was hyped, too. On, he was on the so hyped, man. And I'm like, this is what it's about. Yeah, totally. This is why I will keep coming back year yeah. after year after year after year. You don't have to pay me a red cent, but if you're gonna, if you tell me that every one of my lifters feel like they're welcome, that they're a part of something special, and you know what I mean, they at no point do they ever feel like they're being excluded. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. My, you know, for a point in time, man, like, you know, like some of my lifters, man, I had some of my guys that they were brand new, you know, they're brand new to the national circuit, man. And they see Taylor Atwood walk in the hallway and they don't even know, they can't even breathe. But yeah. you want to meet him, we'll say what's up to him. Like, hey, Taylor, yeah. this is my guy. You know what I mean? And for them to be able to do like, oh my God, you know, Ray, like, yeah, you want to meet him? Like, yeah. That's what it's about, you know what I mean? Because I remember again, Team Jamaica uh, the previous year taking pictures with Taylor Atwood right yeah, there in the man. hallway, right there. Yeah, and, I remember and, that stuff. And I, I believe that's what it's about, you know. With this sport, you have that opportunity to you can, you know. I'll never meet LeBron, not on a personal level. I'll never do that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, but I, I can meet Taylor Atwood. Yeah, especially. You know what I mean? Especially at our at our competitions where it's a smaller vibe. Yeah, it's, a smaller, not getting, yeah. it's not a 30 person line no. to get a selfie with him. He, you know, this last Austin uh nationals, he was just hanging out, walking he around. Hanging I mean, out chilling, he was yeah. at the bar having breakfast, drinking a coffee, chatting with one of yeah. the sub junior lifters that was there. Yeah. You know, I'll, you so. know, I'm just like, you know, so I just I'm hoping I hope we uh, I hope we we keep that, but I'm also hoping that our our top lifters lift. Yeah. I'm hoping yeah. they actually get a chance to lift, dude. Cause that yeah, ain't gonna yeah. lie, man. That 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 would kind of hurt. That kind of hurt me a little bit. No, but I mean, the, like I explained, I talked about this with um one of the recent guests. I was like, as stacked and as there were battles, like we have people like Waskar, Brian Lee, Natalie Richards, you know, these people coming in and putting on a show. I mean, that's session. Show. That session, I'm like, I'm getting goosebumps right now. Like that was a hell of a session. Jessica Espinal, Heather yeah, man, Carter, all in that same session. Yeah, um, that was a stacked session. Absolutely. But, and and every session had that, like where we had where we had superstars. Yeah, that was stacked. But we were missing our top eight. You know, I mean, we were missing our our best of our best here that yeah, were all man. at Sheffield. So so hopefully that'll get ironed out. You know, yeah, get- I just that yeah that has to get ironed out because man, yeah. as much. As a show they put on, imagine how big of how much bigger of a show it would have been yeah. had everybody been in that joint. Yeah, like yep. oh my gosh, can you imagine? You know what I mean? Like you throw Mikey and and Rogers in the mix. Yeah, let them boys get it on. You know what I mean? Like yeah. have next a year, go th- there next year. Throw McDouble Thick in there with them. I'm you know, saying Anthony. man, like yeah, it's about to get nasty, man. But like yeah. you know, but we have to get to a point where. You know, we don't have these huge conflicting schedules, man. Because yeah. as much as as much as Sheffield, you know, does for for lifting, it does, you know, did for raw lifting is you know, um, for IPF side, of course. Mm-hmm. I just felt like our nationals kind of took a back seat to it. Yeah, yeah. You know what Definitely. I mean? And I'm like, I get it, but then of course, I mean, I don't know all the answers. You know what I mean? And I admit, you know, I don't know all the answers. Yeah, of course. I get it, but I don't get it. You know yeah. what I mean? And 
you know, as, as much as I want to see my people win, as much as I want to see those boys get to the bag, as yeah. much as I want to see Amanda just go out and do what Amanda does best, man, dude, it would have been so amazing to watch our, our best and brightest out there doing their thing on the big stage. Right you know along I mean? with like, all these other. Yeah. Cause you got there, you know, you have your up and coming stars and you have your superstars. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? And exactly. all that ends up happening with your up and coming stars being actually superstars, it helps them get better. Yep. Yep. You have, you know, we Rogers. Had, we, we had juniors, you know, yeah. Carolyn Connor, Alex Sador, and stuff Facts. that came and Facts. showed up. And they I came and, and, showed and, part, up. and part of my pitch to them to come to that meet was, you know, come out there. You you belong on the same platform. With Absolutely. These, with these superstars. You belong, you know. And like, and this experience of warming up and then being out there on the platform with them, that's gonna help you in the junior. It's gonna, so yeah. Gonna... And the thing is like people are like, it's not like they're feeling a void, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? They but it's not that they feel the void, but there was definitely a void not having our best yeah. out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just would have been that cherry on top, like you said. Oh man, I'm saying yeah. though. I mean, it would have been amazing to see, you know to see Keiko out there doing his thing, to see Gavin out there doing his thing, to see Chance out there doing his thing, yeah, to have yeah. everybody out there doing their thing, you know, uh, alongside Bryce, alongside all the 93s. Yep. You know, it would have been amazing to see that. It would, like, honestly, man, I, I'll say Mikey's name a million times over, man, because this Mikey's just, Mikey just is just dope to watch. Yeah. Um, You know, to have Jesus and Ray, you know what I'm exactly, saying? Like at exactly. doing their thing, you know, to yeah, man. Geez, that's the headline right there. You man. know what I mean? Like again, no knock on Sheffield, but you have Jesus and Ray in the same building going at the same time. Boy, it's a wrap. It's it an was, absolute wrap. Because we were both there both years, and I mean, both times it was like Jesus put on a show, the crowd's going crazy. Same thing happened with Ray. Yeah, you Ray know, put it's on like, a show. I mean, boy's quad with half a leg, and he's still putting on a show. I'm like, dude, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, we gotta. We no, gotta figure out fun. something, man. And I mean, again, that's that's for you guys. That this that's above my pay grade. You guys, y'all Me figure too. out the Me schedule. Too. That's you bigger than I mean? my pay grade like, too, man. So but, I mean, um, but that's that's one that that's one of the things I really look forward to. I really look forward to seeing, you know, you know. I mean, it gets that hype shot. I might be like, you know what? I might have to go and get in this one. I might have to yeah, go yeah. Have to <laughs> in this with the, with the boys. But like, I just that's one of those things, man. I I, I really 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 want to see. You know, I would like, you know, I'd like to have seen Delaney. You know what I'm saying? Doing his oh, thing, you know, mm-hmm, and, and mm-hmm. you know, have Delaney and, you know, uh, uh, Gruden and Gruden and, and, you know, I just, it would have been nice to see everybody there, you know, I mean, the, I think the part that was just so, <laughs> the part that was weird is like, you have all of our athletes on these, these pictures. Yeah. All over the platform and not one of them is there. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, Taylor was in the room. At Taylor least. was in the room. Yeah, you know he saying? was but planning I mean, on competing, but he yeah. had an injury. But yeah, like you know, mm-hmm. like for me, I'm like, is this an advert for another meet, or are we having our meet? Yeah, like, yeah. so that was the only thing that 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 just you know it didn't sit too well with me. But again, you know, it's not really for me to decide. I just know that you know, you know, if the schedule were a little easier on the athletes' bodies, then I mean, obviously they would have been able to do it. But I mean. Clearly, they yeah. weren't able to, and then it's, you know it, it, it's 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 a tough situation because you have worlds in June, so yep. it's like you you can't. There's only so many spots you can put your nationals, and all the other countries in the IPF have their nationals in quarter one. You know, January, yeah. February, March. Um, like you saw that the UK lifters, they had their nationals the week before Sheffield. Yeah. Um, you know, and then it's like uh, the even Jess Bittner had to go and and put up a total somewhere like couple weeks out you know before yeah. Sheffield so yeah um it it will get ironed I mean I, I know, yeah, know. It's, just, it's just hard man because I mean I know you know it won't true. be this year though yeah That's the thing, it, it's gonna take been... a little time yeah, yeah so but... well we'll figure it out but like I think at the end of the day man as long as the athletes are safe as long as the athletes are what's being considered yeah I think we're in the best situation but again it's about making sure the athletes the athletes and their health is taken in consideration for anything yeah. And as long as that, you know, if it's not the priority, that needs to be the priority. And if it's and not, it, then yeah, that's when we have a problem. Well, and it's a good, it's a good problem to have in the sense of eight of our lifters were at Sheffield. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, like we, we've got the hitters. Absolutely. Actually qualify yeah, on the backside. It hurts our nationals whenever they yeah, can't yeah. be there as well. Yeah, but so- I mean, but um, you know, no, no other country had like, you know, we had like damn near whatever, whatever that was like a, 
you know, third of the field or something. Yeah. So it's I mean, like, it, good I problem mean, to have. I, yeah, it's a very good problem to have. So I mean, I think I don't, you know, I don't see that changing anytime soon. Um, I just, I, honestly, I just want our athletes to be safe and have that opportunity to go and do their thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. for for them, it was a business decision. And you know, I mean, I think everybody left with some cheese. So I mean, it was a smart business decision for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know. And a lot of exposure. And, a lot of exposure. Did know, it suck? Time. Yeah, did it suck? That, I mean, you know, it was at the, you know, kind of at the, you know, the expense of our nationals a little bit. But but it also gave kind of, like you said, some emerging stars a chance to like, hey, hold up. By the way, why, you know, we're not. I, and that's the thing, you know, about American powerlifting peer. Like, we're, we reload, dog. Like, oh, yeah. That's cool. I mean, we always have two in the chamber. That's yep. the part that people forget. Like, all right, cool. All right. You know what I mean? Like, get it. Delaney's over there. He's doing his thing. Hey, yeah. we got Gruden. No, we ain't tripping. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, I know Keiko and, you know, Gavin over there. That's cool. Hey, you know, hey, we got Rice. We ain't tripping. Like, we, you yeah, know, yeah. We, we always have a next man up. You know what yep. I mean? And yep. so I get sure. it. But I also, you know, just for, for the sake of the sport, for the sake of me, like, I just like seeing it go down. Like, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, I just like seeing, I like seeing a battle. Um, yeah. You know, like, how how crazy is it? Like, all right, cool. Hey, Seuss is there. Don't worry. We got Ray in the chamber. Like, who? Yeah. Who? You know what I'm saying? Like, we're yeah. good. We're good. So um, I'm just excited to see how, like, you know, once we get it all together, once, yep. you know, it's yep. ever changing. And I think that's the biggest thing is we get ever find some consistency with the schedule. Yeah. Across like, the board. Like, not you know? this next Nationals, but the one after that is going to be like the Super Bowl of American Power. Yeah. I mean, like, if, yeah, I would, I feel like, you know, if they push Sheffield at a decent time, you know, and then of course our nationals is scheduled at a decent time. It would be awesome if they would just uniform that all nationals. I mean, if it, if it's in conjunction with, you know, with worlds, if worlds is always going to be the same time in June, every single year, cool, yeah. then if they could regulate to where, you know, IPF like, all right, well, all nationals need to be January, February. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? That would help so much. Yeah. You know, but I mean, there's so much autonomy that, you know, people ever put mm-hmm. stuff, whatever, like, I mean, there just needs to be a season. Like yeah. With everything exactly. else, there needs to be a season for everything. Absolutely. You know? And you if know, you're talented nationals. enough, yeah. If you're yeah. talented enough, I mean, cause it, the thing is the only people that are hurt really are the outliers. You know, if you're, if you're a junior outlier that you're actually good enough that you can compete junior and, and open, then you know what? You have to sacrifice something here and there. If you're, you know, a master's yeah. lifter that happens to be moving open numbers, you know, then you might have sacrificed something here and there. But even, I mean, but the thing is, if you're if you're moving open numbers as a junior or a master's, you don't necessarily have to move something super, super crazy at your meets in order to make sure that you solidify a dub. Yeah, exactly. To get I mean, like, yeah, you, but yeah. again, that's 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 smart lifting and that's smart coaching. And that's smart calling. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, you know, that just throws back to my Gary, like, hey, man, you just got to make the smart decision for the time that time yeah. being. So. Yeah, I think we'll figure it out. It might take two or three years to kind of get the wheel, the wheel greased and, and, and getting things rolling. But I would like to see in the future, possibly like having just a regulation in terms of, you know, a maximum amount of days out that you can have your nationals yeah. um, from, from worlds. Um, and if Sheffield is going to end up being a staple in terms of, you know, the, you know, the calendar, the calendar, then it, you know, it, it needs to be somewhere to where, you know, Honestly, it would be cool if it were after Worlds. It, you, it would make a lot of sense because it's the the people who win Worlds. Yeah. Um, that to have it just like four months after, you know, yeah. like give them give them a full prep. Um, and yeah. so June, you know, like October. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, because yeah, I mean, be it's not like you're considering anybody else other than open lifters. You know yeah. What I mean? if exactly. You're, if, if you're considering somebody other, I mean, if you're looking at juniors, because there are some juniors that move world records. You know, yeah. I mean, there are open that are moving more records. I mean, if you're actually going to open it up to everybody, not just open, then it's cool where it's at, but yeah. it needs to be everybody considered. But if you're just considering open lifters, then move it after open worlds. Yeah, That's exactly. simple. Makes sense. And then, you know, yeah. like they have a full block, you know, I mean, you can give them, you know, a few months after they have a full, you know, a few weeks to rest and then to actually run a block, you know what I mean? And then do their thing and then get prepped for the next nationals. Yeah. And so it, you know, it kind of coincides with the whole season, but you know, what do I know, bro? Um, yeah. They don't pay me the big it's, bucks. Exactly. That's ab- above both of our pay grades, but yeah, hey, we're, you know, as super fans of the sport and everything, like we just want to see everything, you know, be amazing. We want to see yeah. the nationals be the pinnacle that we know it can be. Big facts. Um, it's true, man. 
And I think yeah. it will be. I think it's going to take some time. But I mean, you know, I'm hoping, you know. Yeah. I'm hoping by the time, you know, I don't know, dude. I'm I'm hoping to I'm hoping to get it back to Texas sometime soon. Uh, there's mm-hmm. a couple of venues I've been eyeing. I'm like, yo, we need to do it here. I got some spots. Okay. So Okay, good. I'm good. hoping to, you know, I'm hoping to get it back to Texas. I got a, I got a couple of venues under my sleeve that I want to like submit, like, hey, y'all need to check this spot out. But um nice, nice. Yeah, man. Um I just, I, you know, I just want to see it keep growing, you know, and, sure. you know, of course, after the growth, I would love, you know, I would love to see, you know, you know, lifters, you know, sure, maybe you're not going to get paid, maybe you're not going to get this huge stipend, but something like long lines, like, hey, you know, maybe we can pay for, you know, part of your ticket, or maybe we can pay for your uniform or something, you know, yeah. uh, you know, at least at the very least, like, you know, what our top eight, you know, junior worlds, our top eight master worlds, our top eight open worlds, at least their uniforms are paid for or something, you know, yeah, get something exactly. or your fee is paid for. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you know, we start bringing in big sponsors and stuff. Like we, yeah. get, that, we get that Nike bag. It's I'm like, telling you, man, like everyone's going to worlds is yeah. Good. Everything's covered, you know? Stuff. Yeah. You know, it's a matter of time, man. I mean, yeah. the, the sport is growing. The, the popularity is absolutely, absolutely growing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, Again, like I said, the only people that care about powerlifters, powerlifting is powerlifters. You know, if we can, you know, kind of break that mold and get people yep. that aren't necessarily powerlifters to start caring about it, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, there's more. <laughs> put, put it on the map. Yeah, yeah, man, we have to, but you know, I don't know. That's just, you know, that's that's my pipe dream right now. Yeah. All right. Well, dude, listen, I, we've been going for so long, and I know you you were supposed to get out of here an hour ago. You got a movie to watch. Good, you got a yeah. deadlift to hit, but. Yeah. Um, Dude, it's always awesome talking to you. I always Absolutely, walk away man. feeling inspired. You're so full of positivity and just like good. I appreciate will. that, man. I appreciate and, that. Um, and anybody that actually stuck through this whole podcast. This I, this whole podcast is like a love fest, pep talk, you yeah, know, man. love letter to the sport of powerlifting. A love letter. Absolutely. I mean, you know, it's and um, I mean, what what can we complain about, dude? We get to exactly. do something we love. We get to talk about this. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the middle of the day. Yeah, I I I'm I you know, I love the sport. I love the people in it. You know what I mean? I love that, you know, I love that I made so many friends, you know, for life, you know, because of this sport, Yeah. you know, I, and I, I think I, the thing I love the most is I'm able to give back. I'm finally at a point where I can give back, you know, yep. and that's yep. as weird as it sounds, that's something that I've always wanted to be able to do. So I mean, now that I'm able to do it, I want to try to do it the best way that I can, and, yep. you know, see if I can, you know, leave, leave a, the most positive mark that I can on this thing, man, while I'm able to. So yeah, man. I just appreciate sure. you. I appreciate you wanting to chop it up with me, bud. Of course, anytime. And uh, we definitely like, dude, I had like a bunch of uh, stuff I wanted to ask you about. Like, you know, you're in Matt Gary's new book and stuff. And, and uh, I want to get I want to <laughs> yeah. get the other side of that. But we'll have to just tease that. And we'll just have to do this again, man. We'll do Absolutely. This again you let me know, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. We can, we'll figure it out. And yeah. uh, what I'll... Uh, I'll make sure I'm not as long winded, you know, I'll keep you on task on the next. Yeah. I think, yeah, I just, you know, you get me talking about Amanda Lawrence, man. And it's a rag. I, she is, you know, (laughs) I'm telling you, dude, I pretty much derailed right there at the, like, yeah, at the beginning, dude, it was, it's been on my heart for like for months, man. I just, you know, I don't, I just, I don't get it. I mean, Mm -hmm. and she gets love, but I just don't get it. Yeah. I, 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 I just don't get why. Doug, she's doing something that just we've never seen done before. And we act like it's just, eh, it's whatever. Yeah. What? Yeah, she, she should be on Sports Center. That's facts. Like yeah. she should be. She sh- you know what I mean? Like, give give her her flowers, man. Give yeah. Panika her flowers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. You ain't gotta like them. You ain't gotta like them. You ain't gotta love them, man, but you gotta respect what they do. And what they've continued to do year after year after year. No one else is doing it. Yeah. No one else is doing it. Mm-hmm. You can't name me a you can't name me a guy on the on the men's side that's doing it. You know what I mean? Like Taylor's the closest. Yeah. Yeah. You know Taylor. what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, Ray. I, I mean and, and Ray, Ray, yeah, Ray did it for like about four or five years. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but still, no one's touching Bonica. No one no, is. No. No one is only people that maybe came before, like Susie, Susie Gary. Yeah, like you know, there's like just people been in it for that long. Yeah, right like no one's doing what Benika's doing right now, man. And the thing is, dude, I don't. I mean, it's not even you know because she's like you know a, a super. It's you know what I mean like 
She's in the biggest weight class, moving the biggest weight consistently year after year. Not just raw, also equipped. Yeah. Putting world up games. stupid numbers. Yeah. Going to the World Games, doing her thing at the World Games. Like, what hasn't she done? She did that she's a done, month out from, from Worlds. She's done everything. She's yeah. done everything. Broke the uh, spot world record in gear, in equipment, and out of equipment twice in the in thirty days. <laughs> so, like she's done everything, and then turn around and do it again at Sheffield. So yeah. she's done everything. Yeah, you know, Amanda, in her short span in this sport, has turned it upside down, and literally made the sport empty its pockets. Yeah, she shook it, and you know what I mean, like. Cause I ain't gonna. No one was touch, touching Danny. No yeah. one was touching Danny. Like Danny was still one of the coldest that's ever done it. Still, she's still cold. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know how cold you have to be to get at Danny Mello. Yeah. That could, there's literally only one person, only one person that could, that could could get at Danny. Yep. Are you crazy? Yeah. And then she that did she that. Can't, she took that, and then you know she did it again. She broke her world records so many more times. But exactly, yeah. I'm like, why are we not showing these women the love that they deserve, man? Why are they not getting the shine? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, I, I don't get it. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't get it. You know what I mean? But you know, well, we post, you know, we'll we'll post and we'll, you know, we'll talk about these, you know, IG models. What yeah. are they modeling? I have no clue. Yeah, these, yeah. you know, they're rolling. Four, five, six hundred thousand deep and contributing nothing. Meanwhile, we have these two queens that are absolutely killing it and just not necessarily getting their, their just due, man. I mean, I mean, and Pat Buff is full of it. We're we're we're, we're full of, of, of young women that are just out there just changing the game. Yeah. And just not getting the recognition that I feel they deserve. I mean, we have guys the same way, you know, that they're out there killing, and they, you know, they're they're not necessarily getting their just due. Um, but those two, for some reason, man, I'm like, how much more of a champion can you be in order to get the, 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 the love and respect that you deserve? Like sure. the fact that we don't have a, of any active athlete, uh, like Bonica is the most decorated we have. Yep. Absolutely. How does she not have a bronze statue somewhere? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, yeah, absolutely. That's just, you know what I mean? That's- like. That's another idea, you know. Yeah, um, like, we're kicking around some ideas about some things behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't want to say I've already spilled too much tea out here, but nah, um, it's all good. That's what I, t- y'all. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I end up, I end up making Paul spill the beans sometimes. I'll uh, tell you, there's there's some there's things there's real big ideas out there, but we just gotta execute and we gotta we yeah, gotta take man. it step by step. You know, don't put the so, yeah. cart before the horse. Nah, man. But yeah, but I, like I said, I appreciate you having me on. Let's just yeah. Let's. I mean, let's just keep building the sport, man. That's that's what it's about. Hundred percent. And uh, what's your? Do you want to? Do you have sponsors and also coaching stuff you want to shout out? Oh yeah, man. Um, I mean, coaching literally. You can go to my website lsmcclain.com. Um, mm-hmm. you know, um, we don't necessarily take on all comers. I can be completely honest with you, man. If, if you like, talk, talk about that real quick. Yeah. If you like powerlifting, cool. Um, I'll be one hundred. Like I, I, I if you look at the type of lifters that I coach, the type of lifters that I accept, the type of lifters that I gravitate towards, I love powerlifting, but obviously powerlifting is not my whole life. And so look at you. Um, what's wrong with you? Right on cue. Right on cue. She wants that cookie. Power, that's uh, your whole life right there. This is my whole life. So <laughs> if, if if you like powerlifting and powerlifting, you know, is, is a part of your life, it's your cherry on top. I mean, come find me. Um, if powerlifting is your life and it's the only thing you do, I'm probably not the coach for it. Um, I, I I tend to gravitate toward people that want to use powerlifting as a tool in their life, not their not their life. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we have obviously mothers, fathers, educators, filmmakers. We have, I mean, you name it, we have it. But the 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 key thing that that they all have in common is they use powerlifting as a tool of escape, they use powerlifting as a tool of em, em, empowerment, and yeah. they use powerlifting as a, as a tool to uplift. Uh, if that's what you do, um, and you like getting stronger, like getting better, 
come find me. I'm easily found. But you know my name? It's LS McLean. You put my name in, dot com, type in the coaching link, and I got you. Um, as far as my sponsors, man, um, I have one. That's it. Thank you, Jesus. Um, we streamlined <laughs> it. <laughs> and I mean, um, okay, I am, I, I, but I mean, my, my, my big sponsor is uh, Bear Performance Nutrition, BPN. Um, shout out to Nick Bear. Shout out to Preston Bear. Um, the Bear Brothers, man, they, 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 they really, really treat us well. They treat us athletes super, super well. Um, they also sponsor Amanda Lawrence. They also sponsor Russ, uh, Russ Orhe. Um, only three powerlifters in the whole thing, and it's every it's bunch of just the, the some of the best athletes assembled, dude. And yeah. it was only three of us, three of us powerlifters. Um, and um, I know those one gets the cookie, and um, I think <laughs> here's a water bottle, and uh, I think <laughs> here, you go, dude. here you go. I can't give you the cookie. It's not time for a cookie yet. <laughs> mm, yeah. So yeah, that's gonna be the big thing is just making sure that, you know, make sure that the sponsors know how appreciated they are. And of course, you know, I have um um macro factor, shout out to Greg Knuckles. Um awesome, you know, awesome mind of powerlifting, awesome mind of fitness in general. Um yeah, you know, and Gotta of course give out uh the biggest shout out ever uh to Reactive Training Systems. Uh Mike T, Mike Tashir, uh Ross Lepola, um my coaches and sponsors. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. you know, we stream all the sponsors, man. Um, you know, and again, I guess I don't know. The I just I mean, I'm blessed, dude. I don't I want for nothing, man. I, you know, we talked about it off air. Like I literally can talk to you know one of my boys in the middle of the day about powerlifting. Yep, yep. Like I love it. How can I complain about that, dude? Like exactly. You know, so um I have some amazing athletes. Shout out to every single one of my athletes. You know, we talk about my 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 guy Jonathan Avril, man, really hoping he gets that NAPF invite, you know. Um, you know, um just mm -hmm. honestly, dude, I, I've been super, super blessed. You know, like the, the coaching thing is 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 awesome. I mean, you know. I, I definitely, definitely could not have done it without, you know, um, support of a, a lot of your favorite coaches, you know, she, again, shout out Joey Flex. He actually was one of the ones that pushed me to like, Hey man, you need to really do this. Um, he and Tina were instrumental in, in me, like really getting the confidence to actually do it. Um, Mike T of course, uh, yeah. oof, I mean, Bryce Lewis, man, like Bryce Lewis, Bryce Lewis is one of the first, like I said, Bryce could never do any wrong eyes because Bryce Lewis is one of the first people that like helped me break down what, what, you know, what I would listen to Eric and Mike talk, Eric Helms and, and Mike, Mike T talk. And I didn't know what they were talking about. Mm -hmm. Then Greg Knuckles will get in and start talking like, dude, these guys are speaking complete German. I don't know what you're speaking. And yeah. Bryce would like slowly, but surely break it down what they were saying. I'm like, Oh, I know what they're talking about. It's just, I don't know the terminology. And so, you know, being around Bryce and everything, man, Bryce, I love you, dude. Being around Bryce um, really taught me to educate myself, um, you know, on, on a different level um, so that I didn't have to be, you know, I knew I was never going to be that type of coach that, you know, that, that used the, you know, the, the, the 25 cent words and the, the $5 words. I was going to be that guy that spoke layman um, and, you know, call the hamstring a hammy and, you know what I mean? And yeah. Call the clap call, you know, show like, I just, you know, I was just going to use the regular terms that, you know, we use, you know, on the streets. Um, but I knew that I could coach. Um, but Bryce was one of those that really, you know, showed me that, you know, you can educate yourself on a different level to, to reach people on in a different way. Um, and so I'll always forever be indebted to him and, and no joke in, into Joey, um, really for like, give me that, like that, that push, you know, and, it's crazy, you know, it's it's crazy. You 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 know, you you look back in your career, I'm like, hey man, like I I'm starting to like this coaching thing just as much as I like being on the platform. Yeah. Um, oh, dude, you were in your element in Austin. Dude. I mean, hyping I mean, people up, just being a positive dude. I I can honestly tell you, dude, that may have been the most fun I've had as a coach. Yeah. That may have been the most fun I've had in a in a in a meet period to see my people thrive um 
you know, and, and anybody that knows, he knows I cry at the drop of a hat, dude. I, I don't think I've shed as many tears and laughed as hard and felt so engaged and felt so blessed to be in a situation that I did this past nationals, man. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I've been on cloud nine for three days straight in my whole life, mm-hmm. in my whole life, man. And to be able to, you know, to see these people that you love do so well by following instruction that you gave them, see them execute at the highest level, you know, and to get compliments about your people from, you know, from, you know, people that you idolize that you look up to, man, that meant, that meant the world to me, man. So I, I, I can honestly tell you, man, that was, as far as my powerful career, that's probably the greatest moment I've had as a, as a, as in powerlifting period so far it's awesome man because you've had some highlights you've had some hell i definitely have man you know but i can tell you dude um there's nothing so far that has been as special to me as 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 seeing my people do well like like they did they did they did super well dude they did well um i can't even I don't really have the words for it, man. I I can I can just tell you, man. Like, if 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 I had to stop with powerlifting right now, I would be as complete as complete can be. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've won as high as you can win. I've lost as high as you can lose, and I've seen my people do some of the best best things you, that 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 can possibly be done, and. I can, you know, if I could walk away from it right now, I can walk away from it right now happy knowing that I did as much as I could do with the time that I was given. And I tried to leave this thing better than I found it. Oh, um, you have. You, you definitely know, and have, man. So I think that's that's been the the cool thing, man. I, I hope and pray that everyone has this feeling that I have as far as like the 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 love for the sport goes. I mean, because again, you know, if if you if you do it right. Now, some may want to, some may want to do it a different way, but if you do it right, you'll be able to see yourself go, do well in it. And, you know, if you if it's in your heart and your passion to give back in whatever form or fashion, you find a way to give back and you can walk away from it happy. Um, doesn't mean you have to coach because not everyone's meant to coach. Yeah. Doesn't mean that you need, you have to judge. Not everyone's meant to judge. You know what I mean? Like you can find something in this sport that involves something you're passionate about and you can help. You can find a way yeah. to help. Um but I mean, anyone that's that's stuck it out this long, listening to this thing, man, understand that the only way we're going to grow is we got to grow with your help. It can't be done without you guys. Um, it can't be the same people doing it over and over and over. Like we need all hands on deck. Um, the more hands we have, the more we can get done. The more we get done, the better we can be. Um, and again, I'll say it a million times, it cannot be done without y'all. Um, so if you're listening to this, um, for the first, second, third, last time, I don't care. Um, if you don't hear anything that I've said, the only way we're going to get better is with your with your help. Like it, it has to happen with you guys helping out. Um, you know, we're gonna grow this thing, you know, with or without you, straight up. Um yeah, it's be a lot easier to grow with you because it can grow faster with you. Yep. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, take that forever, whatever way you want to take it. But do understand, like, you know what? If you're an athlete, you you know, you choose to listen to this, understand that there's only so much that you can take from this sport before you have to start giving back. You know what I mean? So if you're, you know, if you're an up and comer, if you're already up there, if you've already arrived, that's awesome. Now, what are you gonna do with what you have? Like, hey, can you use your influence to, you know, hey, we got meets going on in this area, or hey, you know what? If you're if you if you got like that you're organized enough hey you know what how about you host a meet you have all the star power you have all this pull power then cool how about you put a meet in your name like hey this is so-and-so's meet um use your influence man to to grow this thing because we can grow we can grow it a lot faster with you than we can without you um but yeah man that's that's really all i got dude i just you know all right like big thanks to obviously to you to to pa uh to mike z one more time thank you man thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you um Robert Keller, thank you. Miriam Rodney, thank you. Yeah. Bill Clayton, thank you. Oh yeah. Um, Mr. <laughs> I mean, um, Bill Helmick, thank you. Um yeah. Bill Helmick, man. Yeah. That dude, I love that guy. Um, I don't know. 
I um I can honestly I would have I would have come to Powerless America had not been for Go Helmet. So, wow, yeah, man, that guy uh that guy holds a special uh it's just a special part of my heart, man. I I truly appreciate Go Helmet. Um, probably more than I probably should, man. I just I really I really appreciate that guy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just a same here, man. He's a sweetheart. Ah, dang, man. Um, Both the bills. The t- Both the Bills are just amazing people, dude. Um, there's, I don't know, man. Bill Bill Hummock's always just been a, a special a special guy to me, and you know, I um, I can I can I can honestly tell you, without any any shot of doubt, I would not have come to PA had it not been for Bill Bill Hummock. Wow, just straight up. Um, there's a few, there's a few, a few men out there. It's like where you lead, I'll follow Bill Hummock's one of those. I, I I don't know why, you know. Um, you could ask me a million times, I could I would give you a million different answers. I just I don't know, man. I there's something about Bill I just I just get gravitate towards and I just I appreciate um and I hope, you know, of of all the people. Of all the people that have contributed to this powerlifting game, I hope, I hope and pray that this man gets his just due. I really hope and pray that he gets every single flower that he deserves, man, because he, you know, he's done so much for so many people, man. And yeah. you know, you're gonna be hard pressed to find anyone that has has anything negative to say about him. Um, you know, and you know, when, when I'm done with 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 my lifting, when I'm done with my coaching, when I'm done with my contributions, man. I, I hope and pray. I can only hope and pray that people speak speak on my name like 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 they speak on Bill's because Bill is just an amazing. He's an amazing human being. Um, totally. um you know, and so I, I I I'm forever grateful to you know for the opportunities that that I've been given up to this point with PA. You know, and and I hope that you know I hope I do it justice. Um, you know. You know, I hope I contribute as much as I can, you know, on my end to, to help this thing grow and for help, to help people to see, man, that, you know, there's enough room for us all to do well and to root each other on, man, without, you know, wishing to downfall someone else. Um, yeah. But yeah, dude, I, I appreciate you, Paul. Thank you for having me. Um, if you need me, you know, I'm at said. Um, of course. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got, dude. You I, can I, I try to this anytime, man. So. Yeah, man. And yeah, and I, I'll have you on the podcast, man. We'll We'll, we'll chop it up. Um, you know, and, you know, cause I feel like that's one, one thing that, you know, people don't really get a, an opportunity, you know, people don't really know your story. Um, so it'd be, it'd be cool for, so, for people to see, hear your story. So, yeah. um, we'll, we'll figure something out. We could uh, run a, a dual podcast where, you know, you can, you know, you can let your hair down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, Do one uh, where I'm not officially, uh, yeah. as a PA. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure something out, man. But yeah, but I appreciate you, brother. Thanks for having me, man. It really means course, a lot. Man. Thank you. Of course, of course. All right. And well, thanks to everyone that's listening to the Power of America podcast. We appreciate you. And with that, we'll let this one go. Peace.